78 Sports TV here uh, with the panel, and we are going to discuss top 10 greatest heavyweights of all time. All right, the way this works, once again, is that one person nominates, it has to be unanimous agreeance for everybody on the panel to agree to this guy for him to be on the top 10. If you disagree, say that you disagree, and that person's name will be put into a pile to discuss later. Also, you will have to defend your position as to why you disagree with someone being nominated. All right? So let's start with Boxing Beats and Rhymes. Who is your first nominee? My first nominee is going to be Muhammad Ali. Beats. Yo, I'm oh, sorry. What is that? Yes, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Does anyone on the panel disagree with Muhammad Ali? Ali is in. All right, Earl. I mean, EJ Boxing Live. Thank you. <laughs> Joe Lewis, the Brown Bomber. Joe Lewis. Anyone on the panel disagree with Joe Lewis? All right. Boxnologist. I'm Mike Tyson. Iron Mike Tyson. Anyone on the panel disagree with Iron Mike Tyson? Top 10 all time. Anyone? Anyone? Nope. Okay. Mike Tyson is in. Okay. Zone. Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano. Is there anyone on the panel disagree with Rocky Marciano? Uh, I can't. I, I, no, no, no. I can't rob me, Rocky. <laughs> I just All right, so you disagree with Rocky? Yeah. Why do you disagree with Rocky? Rocky, he only made about three or four defenses of the belt, you know? And um, all the guys we've got so far... Um, you know, they made multiple defenses. And, um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I mean, just on, on the strength of that so far, uh, I, I don't think I'd have I don't think I'd have him in there. All right. Rocky's on the sideline for now. Jack, what the fuck? Do oh, I, you, 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 y'all want to debate it now? Oh. Go ahead and debate it now. Oh, we do the debate go ahead. No, go ahead and debate yeah, it now. I don't want no complaining at the end. Go ahead, Zone. Yeah, well, the uh, four title defenses that he had was just uh, – World Hall of Famers and International Boxing Hall of Famers. So uh, quantity is not an issue, but quality definitely is his method of choice. And one of the guys that we got on the list happened to be Joe Lewis, who he actually beat. And he's undefeated. Beats? Oh, re reply to that. Well, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he he. Uh, he's got um. He's got Ezra Charles. He's got Joe Lewis. I actually thought Ezra Charles beat him in the first fight personally. Um. And yeah, the he's, stars. he's got three hall. Oh, them's on. Make it. He's got three hall of famers. Um. And there there is a strong case. I just think um. The nominees that I've got to come are stronger. I, the, his resume doesn't stack up to um. Muhammad Ali's, it don't stack up to Joe. And um, he fought Joe Lewis in a non-title match. And, you know, you know what I mean? Like, Joe was washed. I know it was Joe Lewis, but he, he was washed up. He was washed up at that stage, you know. But the the um, Jersey Joe Walcott win, a tremendous win, you know. And the first as a Charles win, really good wins. So um, I'd say, you know, he fought, he fought two guys, you know. And as a Charles was, was a little past it as well. But, you know, at the same time, they're good wins. I, I don't think um, two, 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 two decent championship fights is good enough. Two opponents, even though he beat them twice, I, I'm not sure if that I'm not sure if that form's good enough. Well, I like to slide something else in there that uh, beats trying to leave out. He also beat uh, Archie Moore in the Stars or two. So mm -hmm. uh, man, let's not forget that the Stars it was terrible, man. And Archie Moore was a light heavyweight, and he was very old mm -hmm. at the time. But you know, he was he was old. He was very old. He was light heavyweight, and he got floored Arch by Archie. Archie Moore, Hall of Famer, though, right? Yeah, but he's not a legitimate heavyweight, okay. really. But so well, he's a legitimate he's Hall of Famer, right? You could you could put him in there. You could put him in there, but it's not the strongest 
To me, that's not the strongest opponent to make your case, Archie Moore, at heavyweight. He's not, but he's a Hall of Famer in conjunction. Not for a heavyweight. With the not he's a Hall of Famer as a light heavyweight. That's that's what got him in there. His work at light heavyweight is what got him into the Hall of Fame. But he fought at heavyweight as well, just because he wasn't successful and he lost. Yeah, well, and, okay. Well, instead of Hall of Famer, he lost, okay. and it's a credible win. Okay, no, okay, no, 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 hold on. Well, quote me the wins at heavyweight that Archie Moore had. I can't quote you none. Because I can tell you the wins he, he had at light heavy. Because he, because he, he lost all his title shots. Well, but he, if you he want got, to quote the light heavyweight? Go ahead, because the discussion is heavyweight. But go ahead right, with the light well, heavyweight. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. So tell me what he done at heavyweight, Archie Moore. Lost to lost to Rocky Marciano. Right, exactly. He doesn't really have that much of a. You see, the thing is, yeah, you know I mean, I could argue. I could say he beat Nino Valdez, but you did, can't say that. So I don't know. I don't think he. I don't think Archie Moore is a credible um, opponent to to put Rocky in there. I don't think so. But it is in conjunction. So you keep you not. It's not. It is in conjunction with Joe Lewis and the other Ezra Charles and Wildcat, like we named. It is in conjunction. Not in totality. Really. In it. Hmm? It's not because yeah. them guys have a resume at heavyweight. Archie Moore doesn't. Okay, but he's undefeated too as well. He's undefeated. He's perfect at heavyweight. So. You're um, doing the undefeated thing, really. You're just doing the numbers. No, thing. I mean, I mean that's a that's a fact, man. That's not yeah, just. Yeah, I know he's undefeated, a, but we all know that. Okay, I mean, so going going through a sporting event undefeated, man, is unprecedented. I mean, I know it's got lost in boxing now, and that's the thing. But the thing when he did it, that wasn't like the normal thing to do. It wasn't no ducking and dodging. Um, this guy actually went undefeated in a tough era. Well, I can tell you one thing for sure is um. At the time, his undefeated people said, "Well, the fact that he hasn't lost, you know, just shows that he hasn't pushed himself." That that's what they used to say at the time. Who that's opinionated, but the yeah, that's fact remains, yeah, that's opinionated. So, having no losses or having some losses, which one is better? Let's just cut the crap. Okay, all right. Well, okay. Well, if that's your argument, is if he's under, if that is so, would that make him the best? Huh? Would that make him the best heavyweight out of the ten we're going to list today? Because he's going to be the only one who's undefeated. Out of everybody we pick, he's going to be the only one. So is that means nope. he should go to number one by your criteria then? Nope, that's not false. That's not that's just false. That's not what I said. I didn't say him being undefeated. I want to make sure we get this clear. I didn't say that is going to skyrocket him to the top of the list, but it makes him on the list in conjunction with the list of opponents and being undisputed and being undefeated and having the highest knockout ratio amongst the retired. It, it's, it's history there. He's put in his work. He put in his time. So in conjunction with everything in totality, he deserves to be on the list. Not because of the conditions of Joe Lewis and the conditions that, no, he beat him. He could have lost, but he beat him. He did what he had to do to make his way as a champion. That's why he, he's belong on the list. Well, you know, it wasn't like he beat Joe Lewis for the lineal championship, like as a Charles. He beat a Joe Lewis who needed money, you know. So, I don't know, you, you can use that. But, yo, look, man, look, look, I've made my argument. Okay, the people decide. Yeah, I'll, I'll let everyone decide. I'll let everyone decide. Okay. It's a good All debate. Right, so, now, anybody here want to reconsider Rocky Marciano, Lee Simmons? Um... Do uh, how do you feel about Rocky Marciano being on the list? Uh, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Okay. Uh, Biologist, how do you feel about Marciano being on the list? I got him on the end. It's all right. You got him on. All right, EJ. I'm I'm, I'm all right with it. You're all right with it. All right. All right. So, Marciano's on the list. Yep. Is that what y'all want to do? Am I yeah. on the list? It looks yeah, like you, you, you heard the vote. You tell it to up the vote. Right. I'm just trying to make sure these are the rules we're going by. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 all right. it. Zone got it. He made you put I mean, yeah. you know, got, everyone the likes list. his pitch. So yeah. so far, all right, we've got Joe Lewis, Ali, and Rocky, yeah? And Mike Tyson. And Mike Tyson. Oh, Mike Tyson's name, Jet. Yeah. All right, sweet. Okay, so um okay. uh who who nominated Rocky Marciano? That was Zone? Yeah. So it's my go now, okay, yeah. Okay, so it's your go, uh, UK Boxing Blogger. Right, um, right, my one. It's got to be in there. 
has to be in there. George Foreman, smashed up Frazier, who's probably going to be nominated, smashed up Norton, smashed up Ron Lyle, smashed up Frazier again. All right, he lost to Muhammad Ali, but then he comes back at the ripe old age of late 40s, went 12 rounds with the undisputed Evander, then he comes back and wins the lineal belt and smashes up Michael Mora for the IBF and WBA strap. He's the man. You know, what more can you say? The guy's a legend. There's no way that guy can't be in there. Okay. I'll refuse. I don't think anybody could debate that. All right. Anyone disagree with Big George being on the list? So Foreman is in. All right. It's on Beats nomination. I've got Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes. Does anyone on the panel disagree with Larry Holmes? Mm. No. All right. Holmes is in. It's on EJ Boxing Live. All right, so um, I'm going to pick um, Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson. Anyone on the panel disagree with Jack Johnson? All right. <laughs> I was looking for some beef, man. What's up with you guys? I, I nearly got it. He's I was looking for some beef, man. Okay, Jack Johnson is in there. Uh, it's on Boxingologist nomination. I got Lennox Lewis. Ox. Anyone here disagree with Ox being on the list? Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis. Ooh, We're looking yeah. for beef. Nah, looking. <laughs> you, for all right, beef, Beast, yeah. you say you disagree? No, nah, no, nah, I ain't looking for beef, man. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so, so, okay, so let me... Just, man, uh, 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 uh. I'm going over this again because I don't want to... Listen, does anyone disagree with Lennox Lewis? Yeah, 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 go on, I'll go. I'll, I'll go for a disagree with Lennox. Yeah. Okay, see, this is yeah. what I'm saying. See, if I would have wrote them down, then y'all yeah, be yeah. Fine. Okay, I'll disagree no, with that. doing it right, seven to eight, man, just relax. No, I'm, I'm, no, <laughs> man, because at the end, I don't want... Lee, Lee complained at the end of the thing about he didn't get his chance and all this stuff. So Lee says he disagreed with Lennox Lewis. So state your case why you disagree, Lee. Right, right. Well, because he got taken out by one punch twice, right, yeah? And I do rate Lennox Lewis. He got knocked out by Oliver McCall. Right, and I feel the legendary fighters that he's got on his name, like your Evander Holyfields and Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was like a a Rocky Marciano Joe Lewis payday fight because he wanted the money, in my opinion. Um, fucking Evander Holyfield was a shell of himself, you know. And I think Lennox Lewis, when he was at his peak, was coming towards the end of that golden era, like where you had the Tuckers, the Witherspoons, and fucking. The Bone Crusher Smiths, all them guys, Mike Tyson's in their prime, all of them like young Evander Holyfield's, young Riddick Bowes. I know Bo didn't fight Lewis and that weren't his fault, but you know, I don't think he proved him. Not like where George Foreman just knocked out Ken Norton, knocked out, brutally knocked out Frazier, come up and done shit later on in life, you know what I mean? So I'm, that's my case. I just don't think he's strong enough compared to the rest of the guys. He didn't clean out a division like Mike Tyson did in the 80s. I just don't think you should be in that. Boxologist. Okay. Here we go. Well, um, well, one, he pretty much cleaned out the division. You know what I'm saying? He only had two losses on his resume. The two losses that he had, he went back and fought both of those guys in Alan McCall in uh, Rockmine. He stopped both of them. He, uh, he beat a prime Ray Mercer on his resume. He beat a prime Evander Holyfield, who had a pretty impressive winning streak when he beat him. Well, he had got a draw, then he came back and beat him. Um, he beat Mike Tyson, who Mike Tyson was actually coming off of wins. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't like, I think he had like a no contest or draw or something, but I know he was coming off of some wins. And I'll go by, if you're not ready, don't get your ass in there. He unified all the titles. He unified the WBC, WBA, and the IBF title. He defended them like eight times. Um, he got in there his last run. He he beat um, Vitaly Klitschko, all controversial, but he did beat him. He beat David Tua. Who was a nice uh was another good prime fighter, you know what I mean? Uh, shit, I, I mean, like I said, he, I already named Ray Mercer, right? Right, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, he beat up, uh, he beat a prime Frank Bruno. He beat a prime Shannon Briggs. 
I mean, hell, I mean, the dude unified the titles, man. And I mean, and then he like, and then also what I what I also find impressive about him was, and the Batali in particular, he beat a guy who actually was still on top. You know what I'm saying? Had got back on top after he left the game. You know what I'm saying? And you know, uh, it, people can say you know they can have excuses about Mike Tyson, but like Zone said with um, Rocky Marciano, he also beat a fighter that's on the list, regardless of where he was at when when he beat him. He beat a fighter that was on the list, and he also beat he beat Mike Tyson, and everybody wanted to see him fight Mike Tyson. So okay, I give right. him full, full, um, you me. know full credit for that. Okay, you know well, to me, right, the Ray what? Mercer one was well close, right? That, to me, was, like, was, that was around, like, the time where it was the end of the, the great American heavyweights, in my opinion, coming to an end, right? Ray Mercer represented the kind of challenge he would have had. That was a close-ass fight, man. That, that, that could have gone either way. I had that Mercer winning that fight. And to me, because someone done a video the other day, I had to watch that again, man, so I watched that fight, I had Mercer winning that fight, in my opinion, and that just showed you the kind of trouble you'd have been in if you'd have been up against, even, I'm not even going to go into the golden era, right, I'm just going to go back to the, the Bone Crusher, Smith, Tuckers, and all them guys, I just think they would have all given him a, a brutal fight like that, you know, I don't think he would have been able to tear through him, you know, in my opinion, or with a spoon and all them guys, I don't think so. Okay, is it, is it, the Okay, is it on pay? Did he beat? Did he beat Ray Mercer? Is what I'm asking. Did he beat? Yeah, him? yeah I'm not disputing that, but I'm just now just okay. trying to. I'll give okay, him my a, case. I can't give my his, case is anymore. It, is it a win? Is it a win to his credit? Yeah, but I'm not giving my. I'll give him my case. He got knocked out by one punch twice. You know, he did, his best wins were against over the hill opponents. You can't dress that up. Mike Tyson was exactly the same as Joe Lewis. He was washed up. He wanted the money. He was in there because he was in debt. That guy was just just because he come over with a couple of wins. Them wins were over nobody. Mike Tyson weren't even the same. Well, when he come out of prison, he still was in shape, but he was he was still a shell of the fighter he was. And by the time Lewis got it, he was nothing. That, 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 I'm not even you know anybody would even try and debate that as a decent win is crazy in my eyes. That's my opinion. Evander Holyfield. Okay. So, Tony Tucker was washed up. No, I'm not saying that. Okay. What about what about Oliver McCall? No, no, Oliver McCall just lost it, man. He knocked him out one punch. The second fight, he had a mental breakdown. That's like that's not even, not that, you know. But I'll give him my case. You know, I can't really. What about, argue. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. I know he had some good wins. He, he poleaxed Razor Ruddock. That was a great, great win. I, I'm not, you know, I can give a case for him. Yeah, but I'm just giving. What him about a case. Michael Grant? He's not in the top ten. Michael Grant was a good win. Mike Michael Grant. <laughs> Mate, I'm not. Michael Grant wasn't a good win for me, no. Okay, Michael Grant was undefeated when he beat him. Yeah, but, um, oh, yeah, but Michael Grant, you know, to, to my opinion, and this is my opinion, and and what he's gone to show on after that, I don't, I don't think, I don't think like Michael Grant was all that. He, he got knocked out even better by Jamil and Mackay in the second half, straight after that fight, and you know he was just. You know, it was a hype job. He never got no serious, serious wins before that, other than a win over Galata. Well, I mean, he was. He well, was I'm a, just saying, just like that's not even a great win. That was a that was a nothing win. All right. Well, I think I think Vitaly Klitschko was a great win for him. Yeah, that was. I a think good Mike win. Tyson was a good win. I think a comeback knockout victory over Rockman was a great win. I think a prime David Tua, who only had one loss, if I'm not mistaken, was a great win. I think. Um, uh, the the Ray Mercer fight was a great win. Tony Tucker, who only had one loss in like forty something wins, that was a great win for him. Razor Ruddick was a great win for him. He knocked Razor Ruddick, Ruddick out in like the second oh, round. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah, I know. So, I'm, I'm I mean, not disputing this. I'm not disputing and he's that. A, and he's a and he's an Olympic gold medalist, and mm -hmm. he also beat uh your guy that you uh you know he didn't get a fight he didn't get to fight in uh in heavyweights. So I mean. And Riddick Bow, so and, and that's only because Riddick Bow refused to face him after he knocked out Razik Ruddick. So, you know, I mean, well, if no, see, I don't even break the tour win. If if he would have fought tour around the time he done Ruiz and David Eyes on, then then I would, I, you know, by the time he got to a tour, was out of shape, mate. I'm not even going to go. Tour was on a winning streak. So it doesn't matter if he was on a win streak or not. He was out of shape. Clearly, you go and see the body shape and the aggressiveness of him around the time when he was knocking out. Like eyes on and bloody Ruiz, mate. Different fighter altogether. Different fighter altogether. Again, but how just... can you say two is out of shape if two two is a naturally big guy? You know what I'm saying? Only way he's not gonna look out of shape if he looks skinny. 
Like Tool was a was a big dude. I mean, the dude had all. Ta- go and watch the tapes and go and watch the tapes. And so but, I, see, but I'm saying, see. like a a, a, a year. You said he a, was in his prime. That he, not, he knocked out Rockmine. I mean, he was off. He was coming off of wins. He was coming off of wins. In, he fought. He fought Lennox Lewis in 2000. He had fought opponents in 2000. He had fought opponents in 99. He had fought opponents in 98. The dude mm-hmm. was coming off of wins. He wasn't just. He did. He just, It wasn't like he was coming off the couch. So I give the man full credit for fighting an active fighter coming off of rings. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay look, guys. Yeah, right. All right, look. Uh, yeah, do That's my both argument. Of, do both of y'all, all right, y'all stated your case. Let's go to the panel. Uh, zone. Um, does uh, Lennox Lewis deserve to be here? Yeah, man. Lennox Lewis supposed to be enough. Okay. Uh, let's go to EJ Boxing Live. Are we debating on that? Like, this is a clarification here. Are we debating on how good the debates were? Are we debating on does Lennox Lewis no, deserve we're going, Does Lennox Lewis deserve to be here? Man, I, that was a good ass debate, man. Now, I'm not, Lee won me over, man. I agree with Lee, man. Shit, that was a good ass debate, man. Okay. Uh, Beats. Man, if Rocky Marciano's in there, Lennox is in there. All right. <clears throat> so that is Funny. Lennox. Lennox is in. No, no, that's too weak. Is it? No, that's no, hold on, that's that's it's even. That's even. So Linus is still out. He's on side. You got seventy eight. Hold on. No, Wait I'm the moderator. I'm the moderator. Man, no, man, come on with that. No, dude. you can't come over and change the rules. Nigga, relax. If it's four people, you can be a deciding factor. No, man, you can't. We are, are, listen. Are we gonna change the rules as we go along? Because otherwise, no, no, we no, have to no, do no, the no. whole. Just keep going. Right, we no, got no, to do no, the no. whole right. hundred over again. If that's the case. Seven eight. You but good? Well, yeah, he over. He over to the side. Shit, if it's my, if it looked to me when the, half these motherfuckers. Hold on, 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 hold Oh yeah, yeah, that's free too, isn't it? Shit, yeah, hold, yeah, hold yeah. on, Lee, it... Lee, did Lee vote it? Yeah, I, I, I... oh, Lee, Lee, okay, okay, that's that's my that's my mistake because Lee is not supposed to be able to vote. He's not supposed to be able to vote, so that's Linux is in. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. my mistake. I apologize. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Yeah, nearly got away with it. Yeah, almost. Box out just was on that shit. All right, <laughs> here we go. Like, hold up, man. Shit, you trying to fuck me. All right, we got, uh, we got two more people. Two more people, guys. Uh, and Amanda, it's too. on, hold on, oh. it's on, uh, isn't it on Zone to nominate? Yep, the real deal, Evander Holyfield. Okay, yeah. Evander Holyfield. Is there anyone on the panel who disagrees with the real deal? Okay. Evander's on. How many more slots we got left? One more slot. Lee Simmons. Nomination. Well, no, all the ones I wanted in there, man. Um, this is. Wow. Well, it's got, it's got, it's got. Oh. Nice. Gotta pass you, Lee. You gotta pass you. Go and then pass, pass me some. I'm cool with all the, the people that are in there, man. I will say okay. Joe Frazier, but I'm not prepared to debate people on it. If it no, that's your nominee, man. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. All right. I'll, I'll, go with, I'll go with Joe Frazier then, Scott. He's got to be in there, hasn't he? So, mm-hmm. Joe, Joe Frazier. <clears throat> Is anyone, anyone disagree with Smoking Joe? For I the do. last spot. All right, Zone. I do. State your case, bro. Mm-hmm. Good. Well, once he lost his heavyweight championship of the world, he was actually never champion again. Joe Frazier's a good fighter. I like him. But he's just really attached to Ali, and he's attached to George Foreman because of the trio. But he ducked the, what, the uh, tournament that they supposed to have that they asked him to be in. They had, you know, no notable guys in there, and he fought Eddie Machen instead for the uh, Chris Lee and the, uh, the, the Barclays and won the New York State Athletic Commission title. 
he ain't really got an impressive deep resume to me. Um, I just think that he's just attached to Ali for the one good win, but he got destroyed by Foreman. Other than that, he doesn't have any real credible wins to me or, or impressive true, resume to me. I, go ahead. And Beach getting feedback, though, Beach. To, to me, to me he doesn't. The, the main thing that I, I noticed about him, man, is that he never got back into contention. He won the championship, and he did win it, you know, via Ali being stripped and going through what he was going through. Although he did vindicate that by beating Ali, he then turned around and got destroyed by, you know, George Foreman. And then Ali did he'd come back and vindicate him by beating him two more times after that. I, okay, well, just. I just think that Frazier get a lot of credit for being attached to those legendary guys and more popular guys. You know, he's good, but not top 10. Okay, right. Okay, right. that's a good point there. But I've got to disagree, obviously, because this is my pick. The reason being, you know, that I think what your argument at the end of your thing, right, this is just the beginning of my response, is actually one of the, another reason for why he should be in there. He's attached to, to the greatest fights in history, you know, and being around in the golden era against the best ever, you know, and I clearly disagree. You know, you may, he, he's had some decent wins, man. Buster Mathis, Jerry Quarry, Jimmy Ellis, Bob Foster, and you can't argue against Bob Foster because you you argued against Ouchie Moore being credible, whether he was a heavyweight or not, you know, so that was a good win for him. Beat Muhammad Ali, you know, and, and, and then, you know, he'd been in there, you know, I know, I know he got smashed up by, by Foreman, but he beat people like Joe Bugner, he, he was again in the Frina Manila, you know, the guy's a legend. How can you not put him in there? You know, but everything that it stands for, the history behind it, do you know what I mean? He, he done he done all them guys, he, he fought Quarry and Ellis a couple of times, he's the man, he fought people multiple times. It's like, I don't understand, you know, and he had the straps to go with it. And he was part of a significant part in history. And his his fights weren't just like great fights. They were like the greatest fights that ever lived in it. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, I, I can't say, state any more than the obvious, man. So it's up to the panel to agree with that. Okay. Well, um, Buster, Buster Matthews and Eddie Machen, those guys wasn't, too good to me personally. I mean, you can always argue, but they're not no all time great victories. Um, I always wonder, I cannot penalize him for this. I always wonder what would have happened if Ali never got stripped. I mean, I think that through boxing for a loop, especially heavyweight division, can't penalize Joe Frazier for that. But I think he got off, man, essentially because of the government trying to stick it to Ali on some bullshit. And, I mean, yes, he did hold it down, but everybody knew that Ali was the champ. And to be technical, you know, the term paper champ is when the champ is out of, you know, commission and then somebody comes and pick, pick up the title without beating him. Okay, now, yeah, yeah. I said again, he did. He, 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 he was a paper champ. Now, he did vindicate it by beating Ali, but, man, yeah. Ali had lost three years out of his prime. And he had to come all the way back and grind back into title contentions he did lose. He did lose, but he did come back and whoop his ass twice. So two is bigger than one any day. So he did avenge his losses. So Joe Frazier just hanging off the big win, the one big win off Ali. Okay. You, yeah, you say that. Okay. Right. So maybe Ali up in the break, right? He comes back and he beats him, yeah? Fair and square, so he proves he's the man, yeah? So the, the, the theory that Ali was past it, whatever Ali went on to achieve, and there's a whole history of it after that, clearly disputes what you say on that one so that's a void argument right and no and you can't just say like oh muhammad ali just handed him to like just got avenged his defeats they no, they, they were the hardest fought avenged defeats going man especially the last one in manila they were both dead man as far as the there's like that's fight the best fight that's ever lived man you know so that that's not Muhammad Ali avenging victory, man. Muhammad Ali wouldn't have got out of that corner. They were, both men nearly dropped, man. But it's like I just I've just flawed the argument about, in my opinion, because them fights are they're not even lost fights. They are legacy fights. They are boxing history fights. You know, and the and him Muhammad Ali not being in his prime, even though he's been out of the, the ring for three years, is is not because he, what Muhammad Ali proved after the fight that he lost originally in the first one to Fraser 
clearly disputes your your theory on that. He was not past his prime. Well, that's, that's my argument. I ain't got something more to argue. Do y'all want to go to the panel, or do y'all have something else to say? Well, I'm just saying I never said that he was past his prime. That's false. I was just saying that he lost three years of his prime. And mm. I didn't imply that when Frazier beat him, that he was past his prime. I said, if you listen carefully, I said, I give Frazier full credit for that. Full credit for that. But it makes us wonder what it would have been like had Ali not to have to overcome some outside shit outside of boxing. That's all I said. Yeah, okay. but, yeah, but, but that's like if you're gonna hang your hat on Frazier, if okay, if you're gonna hang your hat on Frazier beating him, like I said, two is better than one. He beat him two to one. He has a losing record against Ali. Well, I think all three were legacy fights. I don't think I don't in this circumstance, mate. You know, it, it, it's irrelevant. <laughs> you know, let's the go to the panel, right, man. But... Let's go to the panel. Go ahead. Okay, uh, <clears throat> let's go to boxingologist. Uh, does Joe Frazier belong in the top ten? I don't think so. <clears throat> All right. Uh, EJ Boxing Live, does Joe Frazier belong in the top 10? Now, I was going to say, man, that some of the best debates I done heard were like, and I, I, in my opinion, man, like, I think um, he does deserve to be in there, man. Okay. Uh, beats. No. Oh, All right. Shit. So, Frazier, Frazier is out. <laughs> Frazier is out. Shit. <laughs> hey, man. Beats. Boy, came through for the boy. <laughs> <laughs> we serious about that, boy. Six, boy. Said, no. <laughs> All right. So I got your back, bro. <laughs> so oh, Frazier, Frazier's out. So now, um, it's it's on Beats, I believe. Am I correct? Yeah. All right, uh, Beats. Um, your nominee. Man, I've got there's one or two. Uh, Sam Lang for the Sunny Liston. I'm gonna put Liston in. You gonna say Liston? Okay. Yeah. Uh, does anyone on the panel disagree with Sunny Liston? I do. Okay. Okay. Uh, Adidas, uh, All right. You got two people who disagree with Sonny Liston. Um, uh, go ahead. Uh, Beach, you got you got to take on two people. Okay. So go okay. ahead. Uh, go ahead. Uh, boxologist, state your case. Why against him? Um. Well, I just think the the most significant fight that Sonny Liston did that one was against Floyd Patterson. Um, I think after that, I think after he was exposed, um, by Ali, he really didn't do anything of, of high significance after he lost to um to uh Muhammad Ali. You know what I'm saying? For Floyd Patterson win was a good win. Um I think the Cleveland Williams win was a good win. And but I, I just don't think anybody after that is, you know, good enough to get him in get him in the top ten of all all heavyweights. Now if he would have beat uh prime Ali then I would get him that. But he actually tried to cheat against Ali and he still lost, you know? And I think all the wins he won after that was uh, kind of Nolan Boyd, you know. And then he got, you know, he got knocked out before the end of the road. And I, mean, I just, he, he, his resume, man, he ain't, he ain't done nothing. Like I don't, I don't think he's done nothing of super note. I think he was just a, a boogeyman that was beating a lot of cab drivers. And I don't, I don't. The most significant win he got on his resume is a Floyd Patterson, and that's not enough to put you in the top ten to me. Go ahead, uh, uh, go ahead, uh, UK boxing blogger. Oh, so right. well, to me, to me, this is clear. To me, to me, this no, is clear, right? It's, it's, yeah. All right. Sibi, Sibi. It's only two people. Yeah, one yeah. person. No, 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 no. Look, man, we gotta let um, the two people who are against have to state their case. Why they're no, against? No, it was only gonna supposed to be one person. Right. Yeah, and they were one, and then Ed Beast does the other one. No, after. but it's two. No, it's two no. Because no, listen, listen, listen. Both guys disagree. So that's why I said Beast, you gotta take on two people because both guys disagree. So both guys, when you disagree, you have to state your opinion as to why you disagree, and then Beast. All right, let it go. All right, all right, all right. I'm only quick. I'm only quick. You can't box. I think. Right, right. The cloud is suspicious. No, but to me, right. One, I'm gonna just make two points, and that's it. I'm not gonna go on that. Basically, one, I'm just gonna bring up a theory that a lot of the shit that was going on around the Floyd Patterson and all that, there was loads of gangster related shit, which I don't even would. I I can't even doubt the 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 truthfulness of them outcomes. I I can't. But then, and the way he went down twice to Muhammad Ali. Alone, that he was in two fights with Muhammad Ali, yeah, and the way they ended, both of them, and the f kind of heart he showed in the first one is he's never in that top ten for that reason alone. I don't think you can even dispute that. Okay, beats. Okay, well, by the time 
he got a shot. He he was held back for at least three years. They wouldn't give him. They wouldn't give the dude a shot because of um, his mob associations, and he used to throw police policemen in dustbins and stuff like that. So they held that against him. And um, as for his only um, good win, he actually took out um, Nino Valdez, the Cuban, who was world rated. He knocked out Cleveland Williams, who had a tremendous chaos streak, and nobody wanted to fight Cleveland Williams. Cleveland Williams was getting blackballed. Um, Patterson wouldn't fight him. He beat him twice. He beat him twice. Yeah, he took out Roy Harris, who was rated. Zora Foley was world rated. Eddie Machin, he outplayed Eddie Machin, who was world rated, and um, he took Patterson out twice in one round. Who whoever did that to Patterson like that? You know what I mean? No one, no one ever um, done that to Patterson. And um, okay, Ali, he lost his title to Ali, but Ali is Ali, you know. And to me, he he should be in there. He should be in there. If, if you know the circumstances behind his career, Sonny should be in there. Okay, anybody want to respond to that or go to the panel? Uh, Well, look, I just got on it. Like, I gave him credit for the Cleveland Williams fight, you know. The Eddie Machin, I mean, that, that was that was that was an okay fight. Uh, but that, uh, the the, 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 the Valdez fight, man, the, the Valdez, I don't, I don't think he was a good fighter, man. I think that dude, I don't know what... When you say well rated, I don't know what you mean by that. But I know that dude had over like ten losses. You know what I'm saying? Over that. So I don't think that was a good win for him. Um, but I the Cleveland Williams win, that was that was notable. And, you know, like I said, man, his win over Floyd Patterson. After that, what did he do? And he had probably just as many as fights damn near, you know what I'm saying, after the Floyd Patterson fight than he did before the Floyd Patterson fight. And we we know too that he he lost in he in like um uh EK EK said, man, the dude, you know, took a dive. I mean, for like you for you to like take a dive, which I mean, people can all y'all say he did, say he didn't. But I mean, that for you to to do those kind of acts of taking dives put allegedly and you know, putting stuff in your gloves to cheat, stuff like that, it cannot get you in the top ten ever in a heavyweight division of any division. You know what I'm saying? Doing shady stuff like that just to win a fight or just to lose a fight. You know what I mean? I don't think that's the that's that's the way a top ten heavyweight of all time supposed to conduct themselves. So yeah, I, that's yeah, all I gotta say. Yeah, I'll respond to that. Yeah, but don't get me wrong, Beats put up a, I, I, Beats put up the best kind of debate you can for it. Yeah, but the simple matter it still goes down to one thing for me, and I'm gonna is the way that he lost to Muhammad Ali twice. Whether it's fixed, whatever, it was either fixed and exactly what boxologist said, or he went down with a the most stupidestly, you know, it was, the, it was just stupid. And, and him retiring like that as well <laughs> in the first, I'm just not, I'm not having that. That's not the, that's not the heart of a champion for me. Everyone on these people in these lists have been through some sort of adversity and not reacted in that way. And I know Muhammad Ali's the man, you know, don't get me wrong. I respect Liston and beat you put up a good thing, but for me, just no, you know, I couldn't, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, beats has got me thinking about it though, but no, you want to respond to that beat, or you want to go to the panel? Well, there's no, there's no proof that you know the IBF made it investigate, but there's no proof that um, Sonny threw the fight, and um, you just have to look at the KO streak up up to when he was in his prime, man. You know, you know, you know, he he beat Williams when he didn't have the bullets in his back, and if you don't know Nino Valdez, you know Rocky ducked him and he beat um, he beat the Commonwealth champion. He 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 was the D he was he was a rated contender. You might not know him. You're just looking at box right there by saying yeah, you know, he was a rated contender, you know. I don't um, know. I don't know. I'm not disputing no, no, I'm that. No, no, I'm making my know? point. You can't do that when I'm making my point. You can't do that. I'm making my point. <clears throat> You're all right. And um, yeah, it's all chaos. And the style he did it, and he was um, a menacing force. When Liston was fighting, there was plenty of sports writers who said this man can't actually be beaten. They, they he was. Feared. He was feared. Like um, um, Henry Cooper's manager, he said, I wouldn't let Henry on the same road as that dude, let alone fight him, right? Custom Marto was doing everything to prevent um, the Patterson fight. Everything in his power. Everything. This dude was feared, a menace. And like, you know, you, you can just look at the Cleveland William fights, you know, brut brutality. And Cleveland was was a duck, duck guy, and he, he was held from the title, and you know, to me, it's a good nomination. It's a good nomination, man. You know. 
No, no, it, it is a very, very good, and, and I've seen the documentaries on it and that, but it's just, to me, it just solely rests on, you know, the gangster affiliations, yeah, and, and the credibility of maybe the Floyd Patterson victory, and the the way, I think the two fights of Muhammad Ali were legit, nothing funny in it, and I just don't like the way them two went down. That's, to me, that don't represent top ten fight of all time. But your case, I know he's a scary dude, and, and if I was about in them times, that would have been just the kind of guy I would have loved and rooted for. You know? But, you know, to me, I can't do that. Well, I want to I, I I, I I respond to him, though, man. Um, I noticed I noticed that Beast had, had mentioned, um, you know, the string of knockouts is, is, is one of the uh, main reasons, man. But at the same time, if uh, Deontay Wilder go in there and fight Bermain Stavern and win the title and knock him out and retires the next day, nobody's going to say he's in the top – top 10 of, of heavyweights of all time why is they gonna say he fought a lot of bums and i think that you know regardless of whatever it be Sonny listed fought a lot of bums before he even got to the title shot you know what i'm saying i don't think his his resume is no stringent than than um deontay wilder's resume and you can make a case and the only difference is wilder knocked out everybody that he fought up into a title shot so i don't think that holds no credence because you can dispute the people that he fought you know what i mean and I mean, it, it, that 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 you said that to say nothing. I feel, you know, yeah, yeah, knockout. Yeah, no, I'm not paying. I'm not paying tip for tat either, man. But you know, the the people that Joe Frazier knocked out, and he's just been wiped off that list. That's just that's no, no. But don't even compare, man. Yeah, I don't you know think I mean? he compares to Joe Frazier. Like I, no. Joe Frazier ain't on it. Then Sonny Liston, hell no. Nah. <laughs> and um, yo, I just want to say, well, if if the if you're using the mob affiliation, well, Rocky's got to go as well. Yes, sir. Because he was affiliated to the mob. You said who? Rocky. He was Rocky affiliated Mossy. to the mob too, yeah. Uh. No, no, yeah, that was just one other thing. But to mine, mine just bottle boils down to the way them two Muhammad Ali fights go. That's it. Well, That's I've made my case. That's my case. So I'm, I've made okay. my case. <laughs> I've made my case. <laughs> Let's go to the panel. <clears throat> Zone. Does Sonny Liston deserve to be in the top 10? Uh Beats, when you said when you said San Langford name, man, you threw me for a loop. I, uh, no, I can't put uh, listing in there. Okay, Earl, EJ Boxing. Yeah, yeah, that, man, that was some real argument, uh, Chris and Boxologist and Beats, man. I, I don't know, I, I, I'm not sure if because the, yeah, the YTV are listening to this and everyone listening to this. I don't think you understand how fear there, San Listing. That's huge. And in my opinion, he was most scared. Even in his last fight, he knocked the guy's teeth out, yeah? When he was losing, that guy never fought again. Like, I, honestly, Joe, Joe Lewis didn't want nothing to do with him. But, but do you agree? Hold on, hold on. You know who you're talking about? Nah, I'm, bringing my, I'm, bringing my, no, I'm bringing my kid. Yo, you know what I'm talking about? I'm just I'm telling you. I'm going to really tell you. Yeah, obviously, I'm going up to it. There's other people listening. Yo, come on now. Okay, right, for the, right, right. the good that's the bait, I'm just saying. So I'm just letting them put any additional information in there. And for me... Um, Sign Liston deserves to be on there, definitely. Okay. So, I, so, so I've got Sign Liston, definitely. So, all right, so it's a tie between Zone and Earl. <clears throat> so, Liston stays off for now. No, he stays off indefinitely. Because me yeah, and he got me, we, two of us said no. It's two, that's yeah, it's, 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 Three you guys oh my god. Man. Listen, man. Come on, man. Listen. I know what I'm doing here, man. He stay he's he's he goes into the junk pile, and if we can't agree later on, we can reconsider. That's how this working. Yeah, because you two guys can't nominate because you guys are debating. When you're nominated, you can't debate, so it's just me yeah. and Zoe. Exactly. Okay. You debate, you lose your spot. Listen, you nominate. Yeah, you need to listen, bro. To listen to the structure. Let's go, bro. Let's go. All right, it's on EJ Boxing Live to nominate. Who you got? So you can't nominate the same people. <laughs> right. It don't, it don't matter. All right, um, I'm gonna go with um, boy, it's 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 getting thin out there. It's getting thin out there. It's getting thin. I don't know. You know, I'm gonna go with people I know. And if anyone wants to argue with me, they can argue. Man, I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with yeah, I'm gonna go with um, Jack Dempsey. Jack Dempsey. Oh yeah. It? All right. Is there anyone on the panel who disagrees with Jack Dempsey? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, then I, I disagree. Here's Wally, well, yeah? Here's Wally, well, yeah? yeah? You know, I will. All right, so I'm that's going to make a drink. You can go first, Beast. That's two people. Go ahead, Beast. He ducks all the black heavyweights, Harry Wills, Sam Lankford, 
um, it was stages where he it, it um, defend his title once in every so often. Got outpointed by Gene Tunney. He defended against um, it was it what was it Tommy Gibbons and and, and Carl Pontier was a light heavyweight. And um, they made a lot of stories up about how he'd done all this damage to Willard, and that wasn't true. I saw these old men debating on a video years back in America. That wasn't all true. The wild bull out, the pampas, Louis Furpo. No, he was just a farm worker. And they, they you know, he was good. He was good. He was good. He was good. But um, personally, no, not for me. Got knocked out in one round by Jim Flynn. And, you know, I mean, that, uh, that, I'm not holding that against him. He was just coming up, but... No, I, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have Dempsey on there, personally. UK boxing blogger. Yeah, well, my argument's the same, mate. You know, <laughs> I just I just don't think he's got any names on his record. You know that he, he lost to Gene Tunney twice. He, he got knocked out on on the up. You know, like early on in his career, he lost other fights early on in his career as well on points. So I'm just not interested in that, man. I, I, I was only looking at his record the other day, mate, and from what I know from before, because we'd already, I already heard your debate, there's just no way I would see him in the top ten. Like, he wouldn't have lived with any of these guys. He wouldn't have lived... I, I'm going to just name... He wouldn't have lived with any of the heavyweight champions now, man. Or even... He, do you know what I mean? I think Anthony Joshua would kill him now. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it just wouldn't happen. Okay. Yep. Any you want anybody want a rebuttal or you want to go to the panel? Man, you, I don't get your. <laughs> what you say, Earl? Nah, uh, I'm gonna try to rebuttal what what these guys are saying, isn't it? Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Who 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 do who all disagree with these? They all did not. It was me. It was oh, I'm, I'm, man, Earl. I'm sorry, man. I'm sleepy, man. Go ahead, Earl. I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm the Jack. Jack. Look, Jack Dempsey, yeah, if we're all the guys you what you're saying about all these priorities and stuff like that, you understand, yeah, like a lot of people look at Jack Dempsey and they look back at look back at fight and they look at Jack Dempsey's style the way he was, and that's the modern day modern day Mike Tyson took up all these style. Mike Tyson more or less it, it more or less looked like Jack Dempsey, even what I mean black people's hair, whatever. Same bowler haircut coming in all or going all guns. He's the most exciting fire, man. Like when he took out um, Jeff Willard, the giant, yeah, he beat Jack, Jack Johnson, man. People didn't think he was going to win that fight. They didn't think Kid Blackie at the time, that's what his name was, Kid Blackie was going to win that fight. He went in there in the most brutal three rounds of boxing. And them times there, you know, you it wasn't no standing eight count where you come out and wipe the gloves. Nah, man. You go on your knees the moment you land up, boom, they go right on you. And, you, and the only way you want a title yeah, is when the guy lays on his back and you don't get up. They're 44 rounds, man. 44 rounds, they were brutal, man. It was brutal. I get some lot of feedback. I don't know somebody needs to mute yourself. Oh, I'm like messing up my, my attention. Thank you. All right, and um, it's brutal, man. And it, 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 he, so he beat um, Jeff Willard later on, defend, defending his belt um, against um, George Capontier, the, the first million dollar gate. Okay, well, I'm, I'm bringing his reference in there because it, yeah, these are very historical things, man. Now I put boxing and made boxing um, one of the major sports. And baseball, football, made on major sports. Now, it's constant in the ring. Everyone came around. Like Jack Dempsey was fighting. It was a vent. It was a massive vent. And I know he lost to um, later on he lost to Gene Tunney, who outboxed him. But by then, like you know, he, he was inactive for five years. But for me, he definitely took a him against all the other guys on the list. Yeah, he, uh, you could say win or lose. But for me, he's definitely deserved to be on the list and definitely deserved to be talked about um, in the top ten, in my opinion. So. I definitely think Jack Dempsey should be in there. The Massa Mola. All right. <clears throat> Anybody want to rebuttal or you want to go to the panel? I'll say go, go, go to the panel, man. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so who was the two people who disagreed? Beats and uh, UK boxing blogger, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, Zone, what do you think? Does Jack Dempsey belong there? Uh, Kid Blackie don't get in there, man, because of a million-dollar gate and one – Big win off a giant. No, he responsible. He he partly responsible for the loan count to this day. So no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, biologist. Does nah, does man, Jack Dempsey I, nah. belong there? No. All right, <clears throat> Jack top Dempsey. Top twenty, not top ten. Jack Dempsey's in the pile. All right. Okay, now who was it on? Um, it's on. Me, me, isn't it? 
Uh, Chris Caban just jumped in, but Chris, you missed this whole one. So go ahead, uh, UK boxing blogger. I'm gonna go for Riddick Bowe. The reason why he, uh, I'll, I'll go through. Well, I'm gonna go through the opponents. Well, no, he only lost once to Evander Holyfield, uh, in my opinion. Right, so he, he he's beaten guys like Pinklin Thomas, Burt Cooper, Tyrell Biggs, um, Bruce Seldon, um, Tommy Morrison. He's he's the undisputed champion of the world. Beat but uh, Holyfield in an absolute classics. Knocked down Dokes. What what more what more can you say? Like, it, I disagree, man. And and one, beat one Herbie Hyde as well. Time, beat Herbie Hyde and he beat Evander as well. Is you know. What, okay. Oh, you know the guy only lost once. What does anyone disagree? And the majority yes. Is dis- yes. 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 I yes. 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 I disagree, I disagree too. I can't just state people. one thing. <laughs> who's going first? I don't know who's going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm trying to figure out if it's. Hold on. Does anyone besides right, Earl disagrees, Beast disagrees, and Boxologist disagrees? Does anyone else disagree with Riddick Bowe? All right, so go ahead. Now I got a question. Yeah. Now if you have an over, overwhelming uh, pile of disagreements, then that's why I was getting it. If, if one okay, more person disagreed, then it was a wrap, you know? Yeah, I, dis- I disagree. <clears throat> All right, so it's a, y'all ain't even got a debate unless you want to. Yeah. No, nah, we disagreeing. That's out of here. Uh, well, I just wanted to say that um, he didn't fight uh, Morrison either. Okay. <laughs> he disagreed. That's it. He's gone, man. All right. Uh, it's on. Uh, anybody object to Chris jumping in with a nominee? No. No, no, no. I, don't, I don't. All right, Chris, do uh, you want to jump in? Who you no- want to nominate for heavyweight? Uh, Chris must be having some technical issues. Too. All right, let's go to uh, uh, Boxologist. Uh... I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna throw a long shot in here, man. I'm gonna say uh, Klitschko. Which one? Vladimir. Vladimir Klitschko. Does anyone disagree with Ivan Drago? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. That's that's two people. Nobody else. Yes. <clears throat> so, oh, Beats says yes. Earl. Yeah. You disagree? Yeah. All right. So Klitsch- Vladimir is out of here. Damn. Okay. Uh, it's on. Uh, who was it? Y'all gotta help me remember, man. Chris messed up my memory. Is it on? Uh, Beats. Beats. Okay, go oh, ahead. Oh, one of them. Is it on Zone? Zone. Wait, it's on. Was it on you? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't said nothing yet. Okay. Um, man, now Klitschko good, but I gotta say Vitali Klitschko is okay. the one that I. Vitali. Uh, anyone disagree with Vitali? Top ten. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, UK bloggers. That's one guy. Anyone else? Yeah, I disagree. Uh, Beach disagrees. All right, is that the only two people that disagree? I disagree. That's to say, that should be a wrap. All right, Earl disagrees. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, shit. That's yeah. That's pretty much a wrap, I guess. So what we who we got? What's the list so far? What? All right, let me, let me read it off. One more spot, right? All right, we got Muhammad Ali. We have Joe Lewis, Mike Tyson, Rocky Marciano, George Foreman, Larry Holmes, Jack Johnson, Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield. We need one more for that top 10, greatest of all time. All right. Uh, Mm -hmm. Nomination uh, beats. Yeah, um, uh, it, it's difficult to. Uh, I, I know Langford ain't gonna get through. I'm gonna go for um, God, I, I want to, but he's not gonna get it. I know if I do, he's not gonna. Get it. Uh, just a minute. Well, I'm I had good. to name Bo, and that was tough. I'm gonna n- nominate um, Jersey Joe Walker. Jersey Joe. Anyone disagree with Jersey Joe Walker? Top ten. Going once, going twice. Jersey oh, Joe Walcott. Uh, wait, uh, I, I don't know, man. I disagree, man. Fuck that. No, no. no. Absolutely not. All right, what's the argument against then? Okay, uh, wait, oh, first, what's the first, argument first, for? wait, wait, first, who all disagree? Yeah, I'm going, I'm going as well. I'm going as well. All right, 
UK boxing blogger and Chris, uh, uh, boxologist. Okay. <coughs> what do y'all state y'all case? Oh, it's zone. Zone, it's zone disagrees as well. All right, that's oh, one, yeah. two, three. But he's out there, isn't it? He's out of there. There you go. Yeah, well, he lost to all the best fighters he fought, man. Yeah, he's done yeah, it. Well, he actually got he actually got robbed against Lewis, so and a Lewis. prime Lewis. He got robbed. He it. Yeah, but Mar Marciano and Lewis, they both. It's beat, actually the worst. It's, it's actually, no, it's actually no told debate, in history. It's no debate. In, I know, he, I'm just saying, done. in history, it's known as one of the, or maybe the worst decision in championship. Yeah, they, they, they got They got to every great fighter he's fought, too. Let's move yeah. on, man. Yeah, Let's yeah, move. yeah. EJ Boxing Live nomination Matt Schmeling. Matt Schmeling won't stand a chance <laughs> against these brothers. <laughs> no way. <laughs> All right, let's go. Like, anyone, I'm, I'm anyone he beat Joe Lewis. I oh, know, but I'm just Joe telling you, they not. I already know. Looking for like, like, dude, like Max Man is some bum. Like he was a heavyweight champion. He hey, not, man, you, they not gonna let him through. I, I, I hope. I mean, I, hey, I shouldn't have said that, but go ahead, y'all. Uh, anybody nah, disagree no. with Max Man? Well, I ain't gonna get yeah. Oh, go, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Earl, you want to yeah, take the case for him? Go ahead. Everyone, for the for the the piranhas, come at me, man. He beat Joe. <laughs> He beat he beat uh he beat Jack Sharkey in the fight uh he a rematch and like um actually he won the fight on the kind of disqualification say he hit low Jack Sharkey was complaining he got awarded the belt um he beat um people like uh, what's his name again me Mickey Walker he beat people like um, Young Shriveling and um and maybe you don't know these names here but these are noble names at the time and like he beat Joe Lewis man when he was supposed to when he got done Max Bear you know he got bashed up before against uh, Max Bear and them guys. And he came back and knocked out Joe Lewis in his prime. Like, he wasn't supposed to beat Joe Lewis, man. He came back and knocked him out, you know? So he's a former heavyweight champion, and he beat Joe Lewis in his prime. The list is very thin. But, you know, when we're talking about all-time greats in there, Max Mission went that, that, that fund of right hand of his. Man, he deserves to be in there. So, like, I'll put him in Max Schmeling. All right. Anyone disagree with Max Schmeling? No Sonny Liston, uh, yes. no Max Schmeling. Right. Yeah, I disagree as well. What is Sonny Liston in? I want Sun Listing yeah, in. Sally. All right. Uh, Schmeling is out of here. I want Sun Listing yeah, in. Yeah, I know you wanted him in, but I can't see. Yeah, I know you wanted him in, but it, it, I don't see how he gets in the list and Sun. Right, no, that's right. That's right. It's Finn anyway, because you know what? He touched me. I want to hear no be passing. People want to hear people throwing some names, yeah? Because then they testing people's thing because it's not easy. So I'm. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's on. Uh, it's on Boxingologist, ain't it? Boxingologist? Uh yeah, oh, it is. I thought it was is it? uh mm, let me see. Damn. I'm trying to think, think, think. You want me to pass you? Uh no, 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 no. Uh <laughs> Ezra Charles. Uh we had somebody said him? No, nobody said Ezra Charles. Okay. Okay. Uh, you want to make an argument for him before everybody, anybody, Man, I vote? Hell, y'all making an argument against that. Okay, okay. Uh, Beats disagrees. Um, I got to wait for one second, though, because Earl having technical difficulties. Unless, Chris, you want to take Earl's spot real quick? I want to I, I, I wanna have the first argument against. Okay. Well, I, you know I, I, what? I, I just want to make sure it's not down, overwhelming. I think Lennox Lewis should get in there. <clears throat> All right, UK boxing blogger, do you disagree with as a Charles at this point? Yeah, man, I want to re 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 go Lennox. Man. All right, that's okay. two people. Uh, Zone, do you disagree with as a Charles? I disagree with as a Charles. All right, so Ezra, we only got to vote with Earl. As is out. Damn. <laughs> and um, let me just say this, right? Uh, um, my guy beat him twice, and he beat him, and, my, and your guy beat my guy once. You're saying he lost to every Who's good your guy. Um, Who's um, your um, guy? Jersey Joe beat him twice. Okay, but yep. my guy beat my guy beat Joe Lewis and Joe Lewis on the list. And he also beat um who didn't stand a chance, Joey Maxim. Yeah, well Jersey Joe beat Twice. Uh, Joe Jersey Joe beat Joey Maxim too. Yeah? He beat Joey Maxim too. And he beat he beat your guy, he beat Ezra twice. Knocked him out. Okay, he beat he knocked, he he knocked beat him Jim he knocked him it was one of the best knockouts in heavyweight history. Man, I'm I'm saying what the man did, not what the man did. Well, I'm telling you what my man did. I'm telling you he got rubbed against Joe Lewis, and it's known as 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 the worst de de decision in heavyweight history. That's what it's known as. And he not he my guy beat your guy twice. Okay, you say that to say what? You talking about uh, Walcott? 
Yeah, Walcott beat him twice. Your guy beat my guy once. Okay. Rocky Marciano beat Walcott twice. So what? No, I'm just saying my guy against yours. You 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 um you you dismiss my guy. I never. I, you know, I mean, you know, I, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm saying. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, and this is when you jump ahead of yourself because you're getting too excited. I personally believe that Jersey Joe Walcott is better than Ezra Charles, but because Ezra Charles is not on the list, I mean, uh, Jersey Joe is not on the list. We trying to figure out some yeah, more but names. Yeah, you voted him out. I you know. voted him out, didn't you? You voted Jersey huh? Joe out. Right, because I thought it was somebody better. Right, and you thought that was as a Charles, but um, Walcott beat him twice. No, no, slow down again. I thought Vladimir Klitschko had a better. No, he called, no, no, no. This ain't about Klitschko. This ain't about. This is about as a Charles and Jersey Joe Walcott. This is what I'm saying. You said Jersey Joe Walcott. I said no. Okay. Then when it came back around to me, I said Vladimir Klitschko. Because that's who I believe was better than Jersey Joe Walcott. Everybody said no. So now I'm trying to figure out another good name that's in heavyweight. And the only person I can think of is Ezra Charles. Yeah, so I said, I, I, Charles. I'm asking you is how you can nominate Ezra Charles before Jersey Joe Walcott when Walcott's beat him twice. Okay, that's a simple question. Because you nominated him first, dummy. <laughs> That's not the point. That's I'm not the point. Hey, no, that's not the I'm, point. I'm, I nominated. No, no, wait. I nominated Mike Tyson, who I believe is better than Jersey Joe Walcott. I nominated Lennox Lewis, who I believe is also better than Jersey Joe Walcott. But before it came back around to me again, you had nominated Jersey Joe Walcott. I said no because I felt Vladimir Klitschko was better than Jersey Joe Walcott. I didn't even have a chance to nominate Jersey Joe Walcott because we was already running out the list. No, you threw so him off. Came you blew, you blew out. I can't nominate him. To be fair, I think we better start just treading over because we're all going to unanimously disagree on this one. So why don't we just go back to the ones that we debated about and, and pick one of them because we're running out of names now. Okay, y'all can go ahead and... Earl, I don't know what's up, Earl. Uh, but the names that we got in the pile... Uh, Right now, uh, Matt Schmeling, Riddick Bowe, Vladimir and Vitaly Klitschko, uh, Jersey Joe, Walcott, uh, Ezra Charles, Jack Dempsey, uh, Sonny Liston, Joe Frazier. You know, anybody? Uh, uh, before we move on, I just want to say, yo, we got a rule here, Boxologist, yeah? It's a new rule. No more dummy, this, that, homo fit. This is just boxing. No names, because that's how people get over. So that that's a rule we got over it. That, that yeah, you were, a, I don't I mean, think you was here for none the of rules. that. Is, is right, so that's yeah. gone. You said, yeah, I, so yeah, I want to go. Yeah, back no, to yeah, that's out. That's out. I can't call yeah, you. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no disrespect, no name calling. Okay, let let. Can I go back to Riddick Bowe, please, man? Like before what, what? I. Could, what? Yeah, you're right. Right, yeah. Well, before he even become champion, he knocked out ex champions like Pink and Thomas, Tubbs. You know. um Bruce Seldon went on to be the, the, the WBA champion. Mark Tyson took him out. He took him out before then. You know, he took out, um, he done Burt Cooper, but he, d he also took out Evander Holyfield in, in one of the greatest fights ever. And, and, yeah, no, no, no. Right, and I'm not finished yet. He, he took out Dokes. I don't care what you want to say about Dokes, right? That was a legit win. I don't care. But anyway, check, check, check this, yeah? Then he obviously lost only a majority decision, a very close decision to Evander in the second one. If, if you know, and that was, you know, if that, that didn't, if the interruption didn't come, you never know the way it was going to go. You know, and also he'd done Herbie Hyde again, like, to become world champion again. So he'd be, he'd be no, 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 you're laughing. No, you're laughing. No, come yeah. on, he, 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 he yeah, held, let go, Beats. He, he held every belt in his career, right? The WBC, WBA, IBF become unified, yeah? The only guy he ever lost to was Evander Holyfield, which was as close as fuck, the closest kind of loss that you can get, right? Yeah? And one of the greatest fights that will live down in history. He then blitzed up Herbie Hyde, right? And, and become WBO champion. So in that case, he, he, he'd won every single belt that there is to win in the heavyweight division yeah and he whether you want to debate about the galotta fights or whatever but he was unmotivated he beat evander to go 2-1 up in the trilogy 
right? And you can moan how you like, what kind of shape Amanda was in and all that. And you can moan about the Galata shit. But I think he lost his heart and that then, but still, he still got the job done. No, but he retired only with one defeat, never got knocked out, won every single belt, was the unified champion and fought in two of the greatest fights that had ever lived. So argue that. Okay, let me ask a question. I just got a question. You said he won every title, right? Yeah. Did he win? Did he win more titles than Vladimir Klitschko? We're not arguing uh, Klitschko. We're not arguing for Klitschko. He's making no, a no, case. Yeah, for it me. doesn't matter. Yeah, we're not arguing. Yeah, that's my case. I'm just stating my case for my guy. Yeah. And and, and I, so, right, but but what, 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 I'll ask you this: If we're gonna go through them lines, Riddick Bowe would have knocked the fuck out of Vladimir Klitschko if they're both in their primes. So that's the end of I that. One. It. I I, I no, I guarantee well, it. Well, I, well, every well, penny well, I got. Well, Hey, check this out. Well, we at the point where we in the pile. So I see Boxology saying Vladimir Klitschko, and I agree with Vladimir Klitschko for that tenth spot over uh, your guy. That's all I'm doing is arguing my point for my guy. That's it. I mean, because we we going we at well, the pile, right? right? Seventy eight. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah we in the pile. We in the pile. Yo, so, I'm, I'm, I'm just. Okay. I'm just, okay. I'm then just I'll, I'll, I'll go to if if we, I'll answer that. Then I'll answer that. But I'm telling you for a fact, right, there's no way on earth, right, would Riddick Burr have ever been knocked the fuck out by Corey Sanders and Lamont Brewster. Never. But you can't say, you can't say that. No, I no, mean, no, but, no, I don't but care. You can't, okay, okay, you can't, but you also cannot say for a fact that he wouldn't have been beat by Vladimir Klitschko. You can't say that for a fact. You can't say that oh, as, okay. a, as a matter of fact. Okay, okay then, right. I just told you all Riddick Burr's wins. You tell me Klitschko's wins. See if they match up to that then. Go on. That's on you. Look at his look at his, his 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 pedigree. Look at what he's doing right pedigree. now. He's about to fight the number one the number one of oh, well, the second rank uh heavyweight in the in the division. He beat Provetnikin. He just beat Provetnikin, who was undefeated. Who's that? I mean, the, you said <laughs> according to who? <laughs> to me. He beat he he beat he beat David Hay. Look, who man. beat the giant? Look, was look, David look. Hay a bum? No, was David, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was David Hay a bum? That's all I want to know. Who's no. probably one of the, the the best cruiser rate that ever lived? Was he a bum? No. Okay. He beat he beat Eddie Chambers. Eddie Chambers was a bum. Well, not on not on the guys. He's not nowhere near the level of competition that um Bo beat. Okay, he beat Chris Bird. Was Chris Bird a bum? Not on the level of the guys I've just mentioned with Reddit Bo. Calvin Brock, twenty nine and zero. Was he a bum? Not on the level of the guys I just named. But but the, but the guys of the levels that you just name, man, that's your opinion. Like that's not even a matter of fact. You you just saying that you believe in your opinion. Well, let's set better. it out for the guys. You... Let's set it out for the guys. Okay. I'll tell you okay. the, the top five that he rid it both faced, and you tell them the top five that thingy's face, and we t- we t- we tell you in it. Okay. Well, you, you name your top right, five. I'm gonna say David Hay. I'm gonna say yeah. Ray Mercer. I'm gonna say Chris Bird. I'm gonna say uh, Lehman Brewster. I'm yeah. gonna say Samuel Peter, um, Calvin Brock. That's it. That's it. That's it. Calvin Brock was Peter. Uh, I, mean, I mean, yeah. yeah. And then he beat he beat Rockmine. He knocked out Rockmine. He got he got he got more names on his okay, resume. Okay, man. okay, okay. So I'm gonna, say, got, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Evander. Two of the best fights. Right. I I tell you what. Right. He fought Evander twice. Right. And he's and he's considerably better than anybody on that list. Yeah. In the prime of Evander's career. Right. OK. But it's right, also okay, yeah, yeah. You got Man, Bruce Selden. You make his you point. Got Tony Tubb. Pardon? Yeah. Yeah. You got Tony Tubb. Pinkman Thomas. Burt Cooper. You know, he's, he's fucking done it. He's knocked out Herbie Hyde as well. He was an undefeated power puncher. You know, I just think them names alone. I'm not even going to go to you. Galatas, dokes and all that lot. And you Okay. Buster Mathis Jr. was a bum in the way, Jesse Ferguson, whatever. Like this, the, the list goes on. He's fought in a good era, in in, in in a legit era as well. There isn't even a cloud of suspicion in that era. There, there isn't a cloud. I'm glad you said there isn't a cloud of suspicion because, for one... Um, yeah, yeah, beat, Lennox beat, Lewis. Beat, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. My turn. I have the floor. First of all, it's been... Uh, I've read many reports that, you know, when you beat Holyfield, Holyfield had some kind of heart condition or something. I don't know how hard that's true, but I've heard it. I'm sure you guys, since you all guys studied nope, about it, I'm true. sure you heard not it, true. Not true. And he had heart Holyfield had, no, he had Holyfield had the heart condition when, uh, allegedly when he fought Michael Moore. In the third really one. Oh, okay, that wasn't really both? No. Okay. But my thing is this. Lynch, no, no, Lynch, actually, can I say something? I'm, I'm going to say, being from Georgia, that was not false, Okay. Because it was a big thing, he did go and he South did Pole. have a heart 
Brooks, he did have a heart condition, okay? And yeah, he when he fought, it. Did, no, that was against Mora, Michael Mora. Yeah, Michael Mora. I, I, Michael I, no, Mora. No, no, no. Mora. I, I, okay, I got you. All right. And the, and the third fight with um, Riddick Bowe, they they sort of say he might have had it then as well. So, but that's that's ifs and ands and pots and pans. And anyway, I ain't even basing my his legacy even on that third one, even though he won two one up. I'm saying that they were legacy okay. fights, like all time great fights. The foot one and two. There was no. Look, man, man, was look, I, 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 uh, ha I ain't had a chance to speak, man. I want a chance, man. Look, look Riddick Bowe. Let me tell you about Riddick Bowe, right? Riddick Bowe disgraced the heavyweight championship by throwing yeah. the WBC belt in the bin Thanks. to Doc Lewis Lewis to, find, to fight coked up Michael Dokes, washed up Jesse Ferguson, yeah, right? His only decent win in that thing was, was against Holyfield. And he's a good fighter. Technically, he's a very good fighter. But that, that he didn't that distinguish himself as a heavyweight champion, yeah, right? Are you, don't talk about the, the Burt Cooper wing. I mean, the, the, listen, Chris will tell you in 1990, Chris saw Burt Cooper in the projects looking for flipping rocks and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, what are you talking about? Pink and Thomas were washed up, right? Rock Newman wouldn't put the guy in with punches. Yeah? Riddick Bolt technically had all the gifts, but nah, nah he didn't distinguish. Like, if I tell you, the big red flag is when he threw the, he, the, the, he, he splintered up that bloody belt and threw it in the bin just not to fight Lennox Lewis. And ever since wow. then, we've had a problem with unifying all the belts because he's just showed and my question, blatant disrespect for what? Him. Right. And my question is, where is the suspicion in Watermere Klitschko? Because you can't say he's suspicion because he didn't fight his brother. Because really, his brother and him, they had really put themselves as the dominance of the heavyweight division. Riddick Bowe never in his era put himself as the dominant heavyweight in his division. He he never fought the other guy, which we hold so much credence to these days, just like other fighters haven't fought the other guy in their division. He Man. didn't fight the other guy. Matter of fact, he blatantly ducked the other guy in Lennox Lewis. And he did something disgraceful, like B said, and threw his belt away. Man, I, I, how do you put... A man like that in the top ten of all heavyweights. I don't understand. Well, okay, well, would 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 um, a prime Evander Holyfield beat Vladimir? I think a prime Evander Holyfield would beat um, Riddick Bow. Right, and he did. He didn't know. They were both prime in that night in in the first fight, and pretty much probably the second fight. The Holyfield that that, that knocked out Buster Douglas would have wiped the floor of Riddick Bow. No, that's the same. No, that's, no. A, that's not a good argument, no. man. That's, no. A, no. that's the same Holyfield. That, he fought a prime Holyfield. I don't know, man. best win is against the thing. That's a prime Holyfield. What, what, I just want to say one thing. I just want to say this. You can't argue for Bo and he done something disgraceful based on our boxing principles and then not elect Sonny Liston into the list. You can't. I don't see how you can do that well, both ways. No, 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 I, no, 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 no. I didn't say that, that that was the sole reason. My only reason you watch this video back was when I said no to him, it was purely for the fact of the two Muhammad Ali's, plus I don't, I doubt the credibility of the Floyd Patterson victories. That's all. That's so you're going to have I, a man I, in the top 10 oh, list. No, no, out. no, let me say. Pardon, one second, let me finish. All as I said was, so, so discount anything like that. My main thing was, right, that the way he reacted in the two Muhammad Ali losses, I don't think that's the right, the stuff of a courageous champion to be in the top ten. That's my opinion. So you're going to put a oh, man. man. I'm glad you said that. Okay, okay. Now, now, how do you? Now, how I wasn't you... even hot in that debate. I just give two clear little things. You're going to put a man. Okay, who okay. Let me ask you one bed. thing. How do you feel about the him throwing a belt away instead of fighting Lennox Lewis? How do you feel about that? situation since you since you, know, you vocal the same, the, other okay, yeah i will i will i'll answer that yeah well unfortunately there were times where you know he had a mad cat guy advising him pretty much like al Heyman telling no no no, no 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 toss. yeah it's all oh. the same sort of shit yeah 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 oh yeah well look, well you know you you've got a valid point i'm not even gonna argue that point but still it's all, okay. it's, all it's all boxing politics isn't it so you want, like so not, why the, should that be held against a guy who'd only ever lost one razor thin fight and had won all them belts and had got some with on the learning curve on the up? He beat some former world champions. Yeah, but he won because he wouldn't fight Razor Ruddock and fight and 
and fight Lennox Lewis. That, that's why. And he fought oh, Michael Dogs. Listen, listen, listen. He fought Michael Dogs. He fought Michael Dogs. He fought Michael Dogs after Razor Ruddock nearly killed him in the ring. He should never have fought Michael Dogs. It was a disgrace. And to fight um what was his name? Jesse Ferguson. It was the what it was the worst. It was one of the worst slumps in watching heavyweight boxing. And I, I, I was there watching. It was one of the worst slumps. Did he he, he, he put the heavyweight division into a trance when he did that. Riddick uh, Bowe well, uh, well, well, in the top he, 10. He, it, I tell you what, he, he'll, it, it, it's, it's embarrassing to put him in there. Yeah, yeah, no, no, okay. Well, what I'm saying is, we were all no, we were all running out of names, right? Oh, and yeah. I'm not funny. Y'all still got other people. Y'all still got other people to talk about. I vote, I vote, I vote, I vote no, permanently for Rennie Bow. Not even on the sideline. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. 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 Right. I'm gonna accept it. But all this, I'm just gonna point out. You guys named some some no's, right? Some unanimous no's, and everybody said yeah, 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 and no one gave a credible argument. At least I named a fighter that I knew was was not even worth, and nearly I'll give a credible argument for it. That's it. You've I've, at least I'll give a credible argument. All the other universal no's. There's not been one stand up argument like mine. I gave a credible the, argument the for Chris Cole. The S is no. The S is no. Who somebody else got? I, okay, uh, let's let, let's take a vote. Uh, who all disagrees with Riddick Bow? I disagree. Zone I disagree. And Zone Sick disagree. All right, he's out of there. He's out. Stick a fork in him. <laughs> okay. Uh, we still got <clears throat> Joe Frazier out there. We got Sonny Liston, Jack Dempsey, Jesse Joe Walker, Ezra Charles, and both Klitschko brothers. And Matt Schmeling as well. Man. Can you say that again, please, 78? All right. Uh, we got Joe Frazier, Sonny Liston, Jack Dempsey, Matt Schmeling, both Klitschko brothers, and Jersey Joe Walcott and Ezra Charles. And y'all got a slew of other heavyweights y'all can name if y'all want to. But it's, it's open form right now. Well, unless someone wants to argue for theirs, I want to argue for Joe Frazier again. <laughs> You know, like, unless someone wants to do theirs first, I just I love have Liston my... and Sam Langford in. They're, they're my two. I mean, so well, I'll say I, I'm going to beat oh, anyone who don't agree with either Liston or Langford. So, me, I, I, you've already done the list. I, I want to argue. I, like I said, I'm still making my case for Klitschko, the lineal champion. You know, I don't think he should be um, penalized because I know everybody else is on the list is retired. I think he's still doing great things at this moment in boxing. And I, I think he he shouldn't be penalized because he's still active. I think what he's doing is a great thing. Um, and I mean, I, I, okay, I'm, I'm wrong, okay. you know, I mean, the dude he's fighting um highly ranked contender. You know, he's fighting a highly ranked contender now. Um, he's 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 beat you know some of the top guys in the sport. He's beat a guy who's probably arguably the best cruiserweight that's ever lived. A so I mean, we're talking heavyweights. <laughs> okay, but I'm just saying, still beat him, man. I mean, whatever. Like if, if fucking that was a legit somebody... win, and I was surprised by that. And and, and <laughs> you see, you you just crushed your argument. If you're saying if that's the case, then Bo beat the best cruiserweight ever as a heavyweight. He beat the best one. But I'm right. But I'm but this is what I'm saying. He also but David Hay, you know, he was like the WBA champion when he fought him. Correct. He was mm-hmm. WBA champion. Only had one loss. He beat the giant, uh, Nikolai Value. You know, I mean, shit. Yes. Yeah. That's a good win, man. That's a good win. I think he was like 25 with 23 knockouts. He was knocking out everybody. He had a record like Triple G. The dude, you know, he had a little slick style to him. That was a very good win. And he established himself at heavyweight and was beating other heavyweights. So, it's a very credible win. I think. You know, and he also defended all them titles, man. Um, Shit, I mean, dude became the lineal champion. He unified, and, and it's probably who's to say he probably wouldn't have unified all the titles had his brother not held the other strap. So he's like really the last undisputed champion in a sense, almost. One, if you want to add, you know, because he has three of the major, four major titles and some. I mean, and he's still going strong right now. I mean, the dude, the dude ain't lost since two thousand and four. So he's going on a 10-year stretch of nothing but racking up wins. I mean, <laughs> what can I say? 10 years. He's on a, and he's on course to break um, 
uh, your boy uh, Joe Louis record. Uh huh. So I mean, I, I, that's my case for him, man. That's my case for him. And he's yeah, been dominating yeah. everybody he's been fighting. On top, he of also that. won. He also won gold medal at the Olympics. Yeah, no, Atlanta Olympics, yeah, ninety six. Yeah, yeah yep, but you right know, they house. want to keep it at. You know they want to keep it on heavyweight. I mean, you know he well, got a lot you know, of. If you're talking about um, his longevity and that title defenses, you know I mean you can't argue. You can't argue. You can't. I mean, you you could put him in. I'm reluctant, but I'm, I, I mean, like it it would probably be out of bias if I didn't put him there. But um, well, yeah, I, 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 pro- I would probably put Langford just just out of personal. I put Langford or Liston in before, but you know. Yeah, do you know what? Are we allowed yeah, to make? What's up, man? Uh, are you back? Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. And he also won like uh, five minor titles as well. Are we, are we allowed to argue for the case of? Uh, am I allowed to now? You can argue with whatever you want to. It's, it's free for. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Okay, I'm gonna go with boxologist on that. Yeah, because actually, when oh. you think about it, yeah, as much as I don't like it and I don't watch the guy and I don't, and I, I've probably got a biased opinion against the guy. I don't like. It. I just don't like what it represents at the minute with a heavyweight and and the caliber of opponents. But when you think about it, he's probably in in years wise. Up there with Count Zaggy and Joe Lewis, I think uh, he's he's just like he's like ten years plus, you know. He's and and then consecutive defenses, and he's the unified champion. You yeah, know, and he's almost forty years old too. He's almost yeah. forty. So yeah, yeah. I mean, come and, on. And, and I thought he was going to get his ass handed to him when he fought David Hay. I was convinced of it, even though I still got reservations. Where I don't think Hay David Hay fought to survive, not to to go out on his shield. And I think if he could Hay have done scared. that, Hay was scared. Hay was scared. Hay was yeah, scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hay, Hay could have knocked him out. I think. No, he couldn't. But... He couldn't knock out shit. He was scared. He was knocking out. Crap. I mean, if he, he was, was if he was scared, that's even more credence to Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, first, yeah. Go on, I go. For, I go with that's Klitschko. his best win. That's his best win. The hay win to me is his right. best win. I think yeah. it was so much hype. Um, no, I think hey because the the the, the b- background story behind the um, hay and Klitschko fight was was huge too, man. And both of those guys was was pretty much you know what I'm saying. I I, I would say I, I'm gonna go ahead and say Klitschko was in his prime when he fought hay. You know, hay definitely was in his prime when he fought Klitschko. You know, mm-hmm. Klitschko beat him, man. I mean he. He 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 fought he he fought everybody out there except his brother, man. And I understand why I feel he didn't bad fight his though, brother. man. Like none of the guys. Are, well, the, oh, see, if Jack Johnson never got a shot, if Jackson never got a shot, he wouldn't be in the list. Do you know that? He wouldn't be in the list. Yeah. He'd be like Langford and Jeanette and Sam McVay. No yeah, one wants right. to put him in the list. That's what it'd be like. Also, do you know with? Do you know with Klitschko as well? He's gone and collected them belts individually. Plus, as he's WBA super champion, every few years he has actually faced a regular champion and dethroned them. Who can't you know, care like about no had... regular champion? Povetkin was rubbish. And it, uh, that wasn't a unification so, match. That was just yeah, yeah, like, no, 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 it wasn't a unification. I don't no, care about that. Really super champion crap. No, but that's what I'm garbage. saying, he still put them, he still put them to nah, bed as well. Garbage, and he's been around that's and won garbage. them belts that's, that's just created by the governing belt. Povetkin was never a champion. There was only one champion in the WBC. Yeah, well, you you and that can dispute that all you like, but there's facts. Yeah, I will do. Out. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't a champion. He weren't no champion. How can you be oh, well, a champion? They're, they're wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me speak. Let me speak. How can you be a champion when I'm champion already? And they just give you a belt. No, you're not a champion. That's bullshit. And if you agree with that, that doesn't make you mean. That, like, you, you're just as twi- You. I'm glad you ain't in none of them governing bodies because you'll be doing some fuckers <laughs> too. I'm glad you ain't okay. in there. How can you right. be a beach, champion? Beach, was beach, it, what, what, beach, you're Vlad, stepping... No, 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 one wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. You can come in, all right? Vladimir's champion already, right? Established himself as champion. But you're going to give this other guy a belt and say he's regular. No, that's bullshit. He wasn't a champion. Povetkin weren't a champion. Two Mookyans stay the same in one, in one space, bro. He wasn't no champion. Okay, okay. Let, no, let no, Lee no. respond. Go ahead, go ahead, Lee. Okay, right. One, we can't change the rules, right? So we could all sit here and complain that, oh, yeah, well, the WBO, WBA, WIBF, that all shouldn't exist. There's too many. It should just be one guy, one belt, and all that. The simple fact of the matter is the WBA commission a super champion because he has another belt. So it, it, it bypasses his obligation to do mandatory challenges. So it puts him above that. So if the WBA... Have, instated a regular champion that is universally recognized as an official world champion by everybody and all the other sanctioning bodies have to agree with that 
then that's 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 the rule. So you All right. Well, if that's the case, then your well, opinion. That's fair enough. No, no, like, no, no, I might no, no. Think well, if that's the case, well, if that's the case, then that means beach, beach, beach. You can't cut him off, beach. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And all this I was stating that even when in your own argument beats, right, when these fake champions that are created, when he's the WBA super champion, at least he's gone back and handled them and put them out of their place and made sure that there isn't even someone that can claim to be that champion. That's all the point right. I was saying. So, right. so in fact, he's done what you want them to do. Like you no, want he, he, they haven't because they created a champion when there wasn't no re reason to. They had one already. So he didn't do anything. He just knocked off somebody who they decided to be champion. So that means when, yeah. um, when, when the European board made Lee Savo the champion, when Ezra Charles was the champion, that he was a champion too. Was he really a world champion? No, he was not. That was some bullshit. And what they've done with Povetkin was some bull. And if you agree with it and are going to argue with it, you're on some bullshit. Well, but you bullshit, know, a lot of people... Bullshit, but that's uh, the rules. It's the law. It's the law. I don't care about the rules. The rules. Forget the rules. See, we're, to, we're having a discussion see. about what's real. If you think that's real, see. what they did there, putting a champion there, you're on some bullshit. See. Well, I'm not see, saying I, I agree with that. I'm just saying that's... Well, why facts, argue it then? No. Why argue it? No, because I am arguing. I'm just stating fact. You know, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm just stating fact. Whether I agree with it or not is a different matter entirely. Whether I think that's some bullshit, that's that's we all probably think that's bullshit. But I I've just stated fact. That's it. There, there's that and is fact. It, all the other sanctioning bodies agree with it as well. And as long as everybody's signing into that shit officially, then there's nothing we can do about it. Whether we like it or not, that's the same thing to say like, well, everybody should face their mandatory. Everybody should, there should be just one champion. That's ifs and ands. What we're stating is fact. And I'm just saying that Vladimir at least has gone back, unlike some super champions, and put them in their place. So, so we, so we, we vote on Vladimir, correct? That's what we at? Yeah. 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 I know I'm saying yeah now. I'm, I'm, I've been saying yes for zone. Okay. What you, what you say, uh, uh, Boston Mileages? Oh man, I mean he he he's a guy that um I nominated and I look at the and I to sum up the whole thing, I really don't I don't I'm I'm kinda with you, Beast, like you know, with the with I think it's bullshit too. You know what I'm saying? But I just don't look at him like that. I just look at him provoking like the number one contender for that belt, and I look at um Klitschko after beating, hey, he's the real champion for that belt. I don't care. Super just like to me, Floyd's the real champion for the, the WBA at um junior middleweight. You know, some people will say, no, nah, it was it was Laura. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I think it's Floyd. You know what I mean? Just like I think it's Klitschko. So I'm going to say he was he been a champion. He just fought the number one contender. I don't care how they, you know, I'm I'm following the glory of the belts. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm still putting him in there. And I think he deserved to be in the top 10. Yeah, I agree with that because I do agree with that. I do the, the, what we our personal feelings on it. I agree with that because even Canelo wouldn't even fight Lara. He made it a pound heavier because he wouldn't even fight him for that belt because he refused to to believe that was a legitimate title, you know. And that was his personal belief, you know. And a lot of us do believe that. But all as I was just stating that, you know, at least he's gone back and dealt with them guys who are pretenders. You know, that's so that's, and, three, and I'll give so him credit for that. For, so it's us three for Klitschko, and then who's against Klitschko? Right. Chris Caban, are you there? Chris is out, so... Uh, I'm going to vote Klitsch go out. I'm voting him All right. out. All right. Okay. But you got overruled, though, BTN. Okay. Where's Jared at? Jared, he keeps falling off, so that's why... You know, so even if Jared even if Jared uh, said he voted him out, he would still... I guess he'd be overruled, I guess. Uh, he uh, three two. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. We, I don't know. We keep changing these rules. I don't know how this shit work, but Klitsch goes in, I guess. So that's the top ten, yeah? Yeah, Klitsch goes in. Vladimir, right? Yep. Yeah, Vladimir. Yeah. All right, Vladimir. there we go. What's, oh. Name the list. Okay. We got Muhammad Ali, Joe Lewis, Mike Tyson, Rocky Marciano, George Foreman, Larry Holmes, Jack Johnson, Lennox Lewis, Vander Holyfield, and Vladimir Klitschko. Everybody okay with that? I mean, um, anybody? I'm not for changing my mind. If someone can like to name a fighter and who they want to go in there, I'm cool with that. I'm cool. With, like, I'm, right, I'm up for debate on that. All right. Anybody want to nominate somebody else and um and or have a dispute with anybody in the top ten? 
Um, yeah, my guy. No, 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 I won't because I know that they're not going to let my guys in. They're not going to let in Liston. They ain't gonna so, let who is your in. guys, Pete? Pete, say yours again. Liston. They ain't going to let in. So, so I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. <laughs> Forget I'll leave about it, it. Man. I'll leave it. They ain't letting, they ain't letting um, Sonny in, man. The bear ain't getting in. I mean, the, I mean, Rocky Marcio got in there and the bear couldn't get in there, man. The you shouldn't have it down, but to man. be fair, Beats, I'll tell you what, right? I, I, I'm like, I'm like open. I, I'm like, I'm just swaying towards Vlad, man. Like over the over the list, and just for the accomplishments. I don't even like Vlad. You know, you know my feelings on that anyway. But it's just what it's, Bro, it's, like, hey, it's like. What else is there, man? There's just Beats, no one listen, else. Listen, oh, by me to to call your guy, you gotta call somebody that you feel he should be over, right? Like if you say I want listing in there. You won't listen to take oh, who's yeah. Oh, no problem at all. I mean, R- 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 Rocky and Dempsey, for a start, he's got a better resume than Dempsey. Dempsey's not in. Dempsey's not in. Dempsey's not in there. Ain't Dempsey in there? No, he's not in No, no. We ain't let Dempsey in there? No, because no. oh, we shut that down. I shut that down with somebody else. We had a debate about that. Yeah. yeah. Dempsey, yeah. Dempsey's out. Uh, Rocky. Jared presented Dempsey. To me, I mean, I, I, I have Sonny over um, Rocky. Rocky. I have yeah, go over, on um, I have him over Vlad, personally. Well, well we've just done it. Well, well, we could... mean? They're the two guys I'd, I'd, I'd take out. Who, who, yeah. picked, who picked Rocky Marciano? Me. So? Right, do, do I'd take Lennox Lewis little... out as well over uh, Sonny. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, I couldn't do that. I'm up for listening <laughs> to a, a, a Liston versus Marciano and seeing how that goes. All right, so if we're man, doing, you, I'm willing to hear your case over the theme on a, on a Rocky man, but I don't think you can. can man, I don't know about okay, that Lennox Lewis okay, man. Okay, okay, if you're willing to hear, okay, I got something for you. If Beast present his argument for listing over Rocky, I'm gonna present my case over Rocky for Rocky over Lewis. Well, I just think I think that okay I, I then. Think, I think that <laughs> nobody's okay gonna then. agree with that. I mean, you can. Shit, I mean, you can't. I just don't think nobody uh, uh, would agree with it. Yeah, because even I argued against Lennox Lewis, and I still, but I wouldn't go against him for 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 Rocky Marciano. But to be fair, I'd probably go with Rocky over Liston in a way. To be fair, being undefeated, no, yeah, yeah, I would, because I went against Liston anyway. So yeah, it's pretty much a, a wrap in it, the top ten. Yeah, but the, the the but see Liston, but see this is the thing though, like Rocky and Lennox is in, it's Liston that's out, so Liston. Got to trump somebody, and I don't think he, if you if you if you argue for listing to Trump and Lennox, I don't I don't, I can't see it. I'm just no, I, me can't first, I can't see it. I can't no, see. No, but it. I can I can see it if he gonna argue for Rocky because then Rocky gonna be on his way out, and I gotta argue for but Lennox see, to it's be hard, out. It's hard. It's <laughs> hard for me to see. It's it's hard. I can see an argument because he kind of presented it earlier, but it's still hard for me to see. You know what I'm saying? And for Rocky too, I think that's hard too because Rocky got them names and he got that undefeated streak, whether we like it or not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Rocky's it's in hard there, on man. that side too. Like for yeah, Lennox, yeah. man, all he got is that. The the most notable is that that Floyd Patterson twice, man. So I don't I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, nah. Hey, 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 on you though, man. If you think you, no, you know, man, got, you guys are gonna be. It's no point. Go you, you got, I've done that already, so it's no point. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. leave it. And if I say Sam Lanford, you're gonna say no. But uh, in my opinion, if if Jack no, Johnson, no, 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 let me hey. finish what I'm saying, and then you can then no, you can finish. You, let me say what I'm saying. No, I'm if 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 I was to say Sam Lanford, right. Uh, like the only reason Jack Johnson is is in there is because he got a shot. If he didn't get a shot, you guys wouldn't have him in there. You wouldn't care that it was it was a, a miscarriage of justice that he couldn't get a shot. You wouldn't care. You should say as far as you was concerned, he didn't have a belt. So I don't, and that would be it. Well, you got to counter that beats. And then when you said you said uh, before you said listing, you said well I might say Langford, and you retracted your statement. Now I liked it, Langford. That was gonna be. I agree with you on that for for my own reasons too. But you gotta present the argument, bro. Y'all talking about Lee? Speak your mind. You got the knowledge, regardless if he got a title. A title shouldn't hold you back. Well, Langford. I mean, he beat Lewis. I mean, um, Johnson. Even though it, it, some people say he won, and some people say, but he still got it there on the box records of victory. Like um, he held the the colored heavyweight to, um championship for long, long periods for everybody. Um. Knocked out white contenders like Flynn. Um, Gene Tunney was scared to fight him. 
Jack Dempsey wouldn't fight. They all wouldn't fight him, man. You know, and like um, he he was he never weighed more than twelve stone, and he was fighting at heavyweight, and he was just taking people out, he'd knock out full blown heavyweights, and um, if he'd got a shot, who who knows what would have happened, man? Who knows if if we'd be talking about Jack Johnson like that today, and he to me he has a great case, and he fought so many times as well. You know what I mean? Fought, fought hundreds and hundreds of times. And uh, I, I think he's one of the one of the greats. I think he's one of the greats. Even if you see the little film that they have on the guy, the moves that he pulls out and everything, you know, stylist, the feints, counter punching. Uh, he was just a great fighter. He's just a great fighter. You know, hundred and twenty odd KOs, I think it is, or something like. So you know, great fighter. So basically, you saying you got him over Jack Johnson? I'm not saying. Um, well, the only reason. Because you keep saying you keep referencing Jack Johnson, saying the only reasons because he got a shot, yeah, and he didn't. So I'm saying, would you or would you have him as a better well, fighter? That's than a Jack different Johnson? argument. That 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 one, I'd, I had to, I'd have to go and comb through their records and see. That's a different argument. But what I'm saying is, is that if Jack didn't get a shot, no, nobody would be talking about him. Well, I'm gonna say this. I'm going I'm I'm with you, beat because you didn't name it. It's first time. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna say. You, he is a champion in my book. He is the color champion is no different from the other championship. He is a champion because of the times of the world and because of injustice. That's not one of them. He ducked somebody, so it's his fault. We're talking about true injustice. We're not talking about the Keith Thurman injustice. And people know this guy was victimized by the world of the United States. You, he cannot beat that. You can't beat that machine. So him being a champion, he is a champion to me. And him being that 5'6 frame, 180, man, the smallest heavyweight champion in the world, man, somebody got to come out. I agree with Sam Langford. I don't care if he didn't get no damn shot. He was a world color champion, and that's good in my book. And he did beat Jack Johnson, who was a giant. Yep. So I'm kind of inclined to believe that it's possible that he really probably could beat some of these guys this day at 5'6", five, 5'8". 180 pounds. Yep. Okay. I agree, you know, man. Is that, is that, is that, is that, are we going to vote on that then? I mean, but hold on, hold on, hold on. The, I'm, I, that's, this is what I'm saying. We need to understand, okay, y'all want to make a case for him, but who y'all want to make a case for him against? Like, who do y'all, y'all think because he beat Jack Johnson and Jack Johnson got a shot and he didn't? I mean, do you think Jack Johnson should come out? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Jack Johnson stays in. That just solidify how strong. Langford is because of his entanglements and his additional accomplishments on his strength of opponent. Beast is trying to solidify the strength of him beating Jack Johnson because Jack Johnson is an all-time great. It's not like he just got beat up by Jack Johnson, never to beat Jack Johnson and went into this, this underground circuit fighting for the color championship. No, he was whooping ass. You know what I'm saying? And those ducks back then were legitimate. Because yeah. the color line was drawn, and, okay? And only reason, his point is, Jack Johnson was afforded to go ahead and fight. Even though he had to chase a guy around the world, you know, he got his shot, but Sam Langford did. And then when Sam Langford had a chance to fight Jack Johnson when he was the true champion, Jack Johnson drew the color line. Yep. Yeah. yeah, but that's like saying if Thurman don't, don't I know what you're saying, I'm going to argue against some incredible history here, but... Again, that like so, Thurman never gets a shot. Yeah, and we always say, oh wow, he never got a chance to do. So, but he could have been this great person. We put him on the list. Yeah, I mean, all that would have, could have, should have been. That really don't hold up with, when it comes to black and white, though. You know, I understand it, and it's messed up. Uh, yeah, that's it, it, it's it's a it's a it's a woulda coulda shoulda argument. You know, well, at the end of the it's day, it's not really because like um, yeah, like like Zone said, what who's to say that the coloured heavyweight championship had less significance? Than the, than the white one. Who's to say that? That's, it's only because they put fair, that on the mainstream. That's a fair argument. That's a fair argument. I understand that. But 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 y'all, the same people that are saying who's to say that is the same people that are saying that 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 title that the white people had is better than the title that the black people had. Well, because that's what we're saying, basically. Just because it's white, it's better. Y'all giving reference. Y'all giving reference to the real titles that we're talking about now. Y'all like, man, he should have got his shot. Why should he have got a shot? Obviously, because you believe that that title holds more credence than the African American Negro title did. 
So no, that's why that's, that's not, why it's a what should have could have argued. <laughs> he, said, he said the Negro time. That's not what he said. That's not what he said. He he said that we only put Jack Johnson in there because yeah, we, I, know, I, I know I got because, that part. Okay, okay. So we already establishing that they're equal o- on the phone. We establishing that the white title is no different from the black title. Okay, we already establishing that. So with that being said, we recognizing him as a world champion. That's what I'm saying. I'm recognizing him as a world champion. So him not ever winning the world title holds no more credence to me. I'm saying he's a fucking champion. The, the okay, smallest he, 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 heavyweight he, champion he, of the world. So was Ezra Charles, but he ain't in there. So I mean, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. I, I, I mean, you really have to for me to put think about putting him in there. Y'all gotta give me a name in there. That's like okay. Jack he trumps him. Jack Johnson. So you saying Jack Johnson? Johnson. Uh, and let me tell you this now, right? When Gene Tunney ducked him, right? The white sports writers said, "Why?" And it wasn't for a tight. This was for a non-title fight. And black fighters did used to fight white fighters for non-title. They they was against Tunney. They were saying that Tunney, you you, you haven't got no courage. You, you're scared to fight him. The white writers were saying that. They said it. So, so, yeah, so who's the argument against then? Who, who, what, what, what's your suggestion? Because we're having this conversation, but there's right, like... I would take Vladimir out. I would take Vladimir out. Yeah, well, look, I, 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 I wouldn't know, because I understand. Okay. I really respect it, but, you know, I, I, I still have to stick with Vlad or not. You know, I'll, no, I'll, no, I'll, no. I'll be up for, like, someone like Rocky Marciano or, or Jack Johnson himself. Well, I, ask, I say this question. Langford's in the Hall of Fame. Vladimir Klitschko is not. But he will be. That's not, that's not fair. No, 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 not, yeah, no, that's no, not no, fair. That is, that is not Hold fair. on. Whoa, whoa, relax. It, it ain't no not fair. It ain't no. Remember, you said shoulda, coulda, woulda, facts. Yep. So well, now well, we get down to work. You can't. Hold on. Relax. He said that he wants to put an active duty current fighter in there, and he gave his argument. Okay, cool. But we cannot. Yeah, we, okay, so he got to take the full blunt of what's coming to him. It ain't my fault he ain't <laughs> retired. It ain't my fault he ain't retired. So Sam Langford is in the Hall of Fame and Vladimir is not. But that's like, but 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 at the same time, <clears throat> double standard argument because that's like saying, um, well, Sam Langford didn't accomplish, didn't get as many titles as Vladimir Klitschko, as this, as if it was possible for him to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not possible for well, Klitschko well, to no, be in the I, Hall I just, of Fame. I disagree because Bernard Hopkins is in the Hall of Fame right now. No, 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 no. Oh, he is? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. What? Now, hold on. Now, hold on. Now, hold on. Now, what Hall of Fame are we talking about? What Hall of Fame are we talking about? Oh, he's in the bo- in that, he's in the boxing Hall of Fame for being the Cat, for set- the stone. Yeah, yeah. For setting the, the record as being the oldest uh, champion. He's already in the Hall of Fame as an active fighter. Exactly. Okay, but but what active fighter is in the World Hall of Fame right now? Well, hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. A question, a question was posed, and the question was answered. So let's not run past that. So let's deal with that. So that that voids the whole argument. The question was posed. Well, it's it's not fair to Vladimir because he can't be possibly in the Hall of Fame. Trying to make the Sam Langford being in the Hall of Fame irrelevant. So now Sam Langford. Is in the Hall of Fame, both world and international, and Vitaly Vladimir is in none. Yep. I'm only counting. No, I'm no, only no. Counting. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, one sec. Let me give me give me two seconds because this is getting yeah, like, get to the computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, yeah. No, 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 no. Need for the research now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me two yeah. seconds. Yeah. I need to do something. Man. Yeah, I know you gotta do something. Get that computer. Out. No, 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 because this ain't even no, 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 because no, I'm gonna state something, and I want to make sure it's fact, because I always get caught if I if I assume something and I call it out, and I, I need to well, know I'm it's state, fact. I'm gonna state some. You don't even have to be good to get in a the International Boxing Hall of Fame, but you have to be very good to get in to the World Boxing Hall of Fame, and there is no fighters that's active in the World Boxing Hall of Fame right now. Okay. That's he's not yeah. yeah, that's a fact. He's not even international either. But Vladimir is not even international. Not international. Huh? But that, Vladimir, Vladimir is, Klitschko yeah. is only like... Sorry, is it Vladimir's only like two defences behind Joe Lewis's record, mate? And he's got the longest reign... He's just, just He's the second longest reigning champion ever. 
in any weight class. How can you argue against that? And he's and he's only two fights away from Joe Lewis's record in in defenses. Okay. So, so does yeah, he yeah, have so a record? That's, that's that's no <laughs> and even when it's shut, it's better. Well, does he have a rec Does he have the record? What do you mean? He's the second. Does, yeah. does your man have okay, anywhere I near just, that record? It doesn't matter. Listen, it doesn't man. matter. Even if he shot it today and it ended today, he still accomplished more. He's, we already Look, went through that. I'm, Sam wouldn't. Langford has got more knockouts than my guy has had fights. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay, but what, what are you proposing? So you're opposing... So what's your proposal? He's got 120 plus KOs, man. What twenty? Oh, no. no, yeah, yeah, but they're like bare knuckle fights, man. They're not no, even no, like. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're not. They're, they're, they're not. old, old fights. No, they're not. Well, no, 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 no. Queensbury rules fighter. Yeah. Old style. Nah, not uh, bare knuckle, bro. Not bare well, knuckle. He was fighting okay, right. yeah, yeah. when Jack, okay, when okay. Jack Dempsey and Tunney was around. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But what I'm saying is old style, though. Still. So, you what, about, what do you mean? About, so Jack Dempsey's old style. I mean, what are you talking yeah. about? Jack Johnson, what are you talking about? John O'Sullivan's okay. old style. Hey, did I not go against Jack Dempsey? No, I but he, 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 there's Queensbury rules. Time. No, no, he's a Queensbury rules fighter. So old style, what are, you, what, what are you talking about old style? How many? Okay, 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 okay. First of all, what, what, what fighter, what elite fighter? Okay, let me rephrase that. What elite fighter today is fighting 150 some fights? Yeah, it's impressive that he got 128 knockouts, but he got like 30 losses. So, I mean, and if, if Vladimir Klitschko had 30 losses, to be fair, if he had 30 losses, no matter if he lost to elite fighters or not, y'all would say absolutely not. That man got 30 losses. So? Langford is out of there, dude. He, uh, I mean, what, you he ain't... Because of the losses, yeah? But you, but you, but you made it critical to the point he got 128 knockouts. Yeah. But he got 30 losses. Yeah. Wait, Beach, when did they when did they bring in like um like, like when when did they start like using gloves in that fight and and the proper well, like, was using you know, gloves man you know I mean that 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 was I mean like John L. Sullivan oh, so you know like, this cool. guy so he didn't start he, no I'm sure, no he's a Queensby rules fighter man Queensby rules fighter yeah. yeah. Sure, I read up. He's, he he had the no, yeah, Queensby rules fighter, fight, man. So. What, I don't know why you did debating this. I know where, where, where you think yeah. you, what you think you're gonna get out of that did that debate. Then? No, yeah. no, I'm he's just trying to just say fighter, there's more credibility. Listen, like, listen, like listen, 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 listen. This is a Queensby rules fighter. That's what he is. Yeah. yeah. I want to say something yeah. else too. I want to say this. Okay. Now we all know that they didn't have. This is me going modern versus old. Okay, we all know that it was rougher and harder and tougher times. They had to endure a lot. They had to go way more rounds, man. They had more fights. They were more active. I mean, I just think that Sam Langford, in addition to all his accomplishments, man, him being able to go in the Hall of Fame and being small on top of that and being able to be successful, man, trumps Vladimir Klitschko. You know what I'm saying? It's just this guy had okay. to overcome a lot of physical and political and racial obstacles, man, just to be even considered successful. So by us even talking about this guy, I know you're saying he got 30 losses, but, I mean, if you want to be mathematically uh, correct, let's do the uh, percentage on how much the percentage of clips go being uh, losses. Because even though he got less losses, he's also got less fights and less knockouts than uh, Sam Langford as well, too. That argument goes two ways, though, right? Yeah, you say they're proper active, but then every other fighter would be fighting, would be fighting like tw like every week as well, you know. So they're all knackered and depleted and shot worn, you know, because they all amassed yeah. them sort of records in them days. So that's that's it's what not like mean, he was what you mean they all? How much fighters had 120 of knockouts? Not they, they didn't all. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not disputing that. I'm not disputing that. I'm not disputing that. I didn't dispute that. I didn't say that. But what I'm saying okay. is right. What I'm saying is yeah that. The, the, that day and age, they all fought loads. Or they, what they did, yeah. Also, is they would fight a lot of the people on there. Like they would fight guys who would only ever fight like two or three times as well. You know what I mean? It's like they were just like people who sort of tried their hand at the sport. When you look at records like that, who, 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 no, told, you that? who told you that? Where did you get that from? 
Well, you go look at shit. I've, man, I've done my research and shit like that before. You go and look at all these old fighters. You know, I already said this. I do respect the boxing history, but I don't I don't see it as a big part as the way everybody else does. Like, when you start going to turn of the century stuff, you know, like borderline bare knuckles and all that. And I vote that same way. Why do you keep saying that? It's not borderline. <laughs> he's a, he's a you know, rules fighter. Stop calling right, him that. I'm saying Stop that calling him period. that. All right, okay. okay. Let, me, uh, let me add this. Let me, let, me say, let, me say, let me finish my bit, sorry. But what I'm saying is, a lot of them guys on his record would have been guys that would have either fought for fun, would have been alcoholics, would have... Just look, man, you go and check through these records, man. The guys would have probably fought like three times, seven times, loads of knockout so ratios. So let's take Jack Johnson off there. Let's get him off the list then. Because, okay, he, then he, right, I, because I, his resume before fighting for the title is more or less the same. Let's take course, him off. Wonder, if that's the case, Jack Johnson needs to go. After this, I'm going for Joe Frazier. No, you're, you're for talking over. Hey, Jack Johnson But I'm going to say this, go. though. But, Beast, I, 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 wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't argue... Hold on, hold on. I wouldn't argue if if, if Jack Johnson did get taken off the list. No, just, let's take just him off that there. If that's, take him off I, I mean, we, we can, but this is what I'm saying, though. I didn't nominate him, so I can't take him off. You know what I'm saying? I had to be a vote, but what I'm saying is this. I don't mind. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Regarding to my guy, man, this is what I'm saying. When you when you look at Klitschko and you look at those fighters back in those days, those guys had a lot more fights. True enough. So including when you encompass that to a lot more fights, you encompass that into a lot more title defenses as well. When you're a champion, okay. Man, so this, when you this, take all that argument, you hold, guys hold on, hold on. Let me speak my piece, man. Let me speak my piece. So when you when you take that, incorporate that into the fact that Joe Lewis holds the record and. Back then, of course, we all know they fought a lot more often than they do today. And you take in the fact that he defended his title however many times he defended it, and you have Klitschko, who was literally two fights away from that fighting less often today, you have to put credence to that. Because he's about to break the record of guys that have the opportunity to fight way more and fight more bums than he did. So yeah. that, that's another man, reason why I, I say I, he should I stay. Mean, and, and that's what well, I know. About. I mean, you said you wanted to take Jack Johnson up. Jack Johnson beat the undisputed champion, Tommy Burns, and he beat the, the boiler maker who came back, who was undefeated, right? Who came wow. back because they were de desperate to find a, um, a white hope. He beat him too, but you want to take him off there? Well, take him off. Take, if you think, no. take, him, take him off there. You well, I'll it. go for Frazier then. I'll, I'll debate that, Frazier. No, you're not, taking Frazier Jack Johnson. you're not taking Jack Johnson off. Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll get off of that anyway, but... Okay, I'm gonna say this about Jack Johnson. I'm gonna say this one ex. This how good Jack Johnson was, man. The reason Max Schmeling was able to knock out Joe Lewis is because of the advice of Jack Johnson by saying, "Hey, he pulls back slow. Come over the top with a right." That's how great the guy was. Even outside of the ring, the guy still had an influence on boxing for a skill set. The guy is the definition of skill sets. I mean, everybody always give credence to skill sets and performance, but this guy is the originator on tact and slickness and power and combination punches all in one, man. So Jack Johnson taking him off is ridiculous. That's not even, that's not happening. Period. All right, no, no, no. Okay. But okay, okay, okay. 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 Look, let's do it like I'll, this. I'll to make a new case. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait a I'll minute. Hold on, because this is going too long. Who all agrees that we should take off Klitschko for Sam Langford? I do. No. Zone, zone six. No. Zone six, and I, I don't. And you said beats. I agree. And you I said agree. beats, beats yeah. is zone six. You, you, you think you should take off Klitschko for Sam Langford? Yeah. Yeah, and I say no. Yeah. And I say no. Okay, who agrees that we should take off Jack Johnson for Sam Langford? Hell no. No. No, I said no too. So, I mean, it's, 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 I'll, it's a I'll one last I mean, case then. Okay, well, Joe Frazier for Rocky Marciano. Leave it as it does. Forget Fraser. Leave, leave Rocky on. You know what I mean? Uh, all right, if, if you're going to keep right, right. Vladimir on there, keep Rocky on there too, man. Uh, oh. right. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think Rocky. I think Fraser has uh, better wins and, 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 and done. Like, I, I personally think Fraser is better than. Like, this is my genuine feeling. Like, and I was, I was only. I, I, was not, I was just a participator in that. I just agreed with Vlad, Vlad like, earlier on. That that whole that whole battle, I'm, you know, I'll just give you my opinion. But I do have a genuine feeling that 
Frazier should be in there instead of Rocky Marciano. Because one, I think he would have Rocky Marciano out. I will say that. I think he fought more prime fighters than Rocky Marciano. Yeah, and he would have knocked him out, in my opinion. But that's ifs and ands. But... Well, the Lakers list is there, man. Over... You know what I mean? like, it's picks. I think Rocky should stay. Lankford yeah. should be over Vladimir Klitschko. Well, we've already... that's a... we already went over, man. It's neutral. So what yeah. happens if it's neutral? No, if it's That's neutral, it then it's, 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 it's a stalemate. It stays there because uh, Earl is gone. Unless y'all want me to take his take Earl yep. place. You know? Well, you know what we you know what we need, Sydney. No, you okay. can't do that. Seventy eight. Yes, 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 no, no, can. no, no I can't. Yes, if, can. if, if, if if they if they feel that uh, yeah, I should take his place, and if it's up to me, then uh, Sam Lakeford would go on, and Klitschko would come off. No, because no one took no 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 one took Chris's place when he left earlier on. When we yes, when they did. Yes, they no, did. they didn't. It went to a tie seventy eight. It you you tied it earlier on. It went to a tie two two. Look, man, we, change, we always use we always use the adjudicator when it's still, it's still man. I, was, I don't yeah, know when that's. We not. didn't do that. Remember, on, remember, remember no, remember, remember, uh, Lee. When I thought it was a tie, it wasn't actually a tie. Remember? Yeah, that's right. It wasn't actually but a tie. You did stay out of it. Though. Do you remember? You did stay out of it. Yeah, I stayed out of it. I thought it was a tie. And then they said, no, it wasn't a tie. It was overruled. Because you wasn't supposed to vote. Yeah, but but the original statement was that you said, well, I can't. Yeah, but then I can't I can't get involved in a way because that's it. So that, that we can't change the rules. Look, man, if Lee don't want me in it, I'm not going to get in it. Lee, uh, look, he wants Klitschko in the thing. And he's just trying to pretend like he don't for some reason. But he wants Klitschko uh, in. All right. I, I, want, no, no, I do want Klitschko I want, in, yeah. I want Chris go out. You can say your piece on Sony. Yeah, go on, Sony. Go on. I rather I rather end this list with nine than to have him in with Sam Langford. Yep. All right. Okay, I think that's, that's I think that's fair. So we got yeah. nine. We got nine. Yeah. Oh no, no, no we have Sam Langford in instead of Klitschko. I agree with that. Then we just got one more issue to address, which is Fraser and Marciano. No, no, I'll, I'll leave Marciano in. in. I'll leave him in. So, so Lee, you're saying that you you will put uh, Langford in. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with Langford, yeah. Oh, the Chris Well, no, because they've just, they've just, well, they've just, they've just, they've just took it down to nine. They've just, it's, they've done in a way because they were going to just turn it to a top nine because we've just been out All right, Sam Langford is in there. Yeah. How does Sam Langford in when two people agree that he, that Chris Cole stay in? Two people because, come because out. UK yeah, boxing I, blogger, I, UK I, boxing I, blogger just changed his mind. No, I didn't know because I just changed yes, my mind. Yes, you did. We all heard you so tape. <laughs> Oh, so no, I, I agreed with it just because you were because I said. Oh my God, man! Come on, Lee. You can't let you can't let people. Yeah, hold on, man, Lee, hold on. Hey, about man. the place, man. It's not fair, man. Because seventy eight and I mean, uh, Zone and Beast had changed their mind. They they agreed to put uh, Chris Kofi in. When? Earlier. No, no, we didn't. no, we didn't. Oh man! I Zone said I can't. Did. I said I can't disagree with it, but I didn't nominate him. I I agreed that he had the, um, the long let record. Right, look, 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 look. Let's go over this. It. Look, all right, forget it. Yeah, everybody want to play games. Let's go over this again, then. Okay. This, this is the this is the vote. Okay. If you disagree, stand on it. Be a man, stand on it. All right, I disagree. Do, yeah. All right, right. So does Klitschko stay in or does Langford go in? Right, Klitschko, Klitschko stays in for me. Okay. In, so too. Klitschko. So now, do you guys want me? Since Earl is out and Chris is not uh, not um, having technical stuff or whatever, do you want me to be the deciding vote or do you want it to remain at a stalemate? I want you to, and and I and I wanted you to to adjudicate before as well when it was even. So I, the, no, because I'm being hypocritical. I want it. So then, did I want, I want adjudication? So, okay, uh, all yeah. right. So no, do you want no. me to to be to to jump in to take Earl place or do you want me to stay out of it? Well, ask boxologist that. Man, I am, God. man. What are you talking about, Lee? Damn, I'm, I'm going around the circle, oh, man. Just do Lee, oh. man. Just Lee cannot hold a position Lee. for nothing, man. Yeah, shit, Lee. What, say what you got to say, man. Right, just, just, just say it, it man. Okay, just, get well, out I, your system, man. Yeah, Jesus but we Christ. already know which way 78 is going to go, so it's none of wood. It's not like. <laughs> Do you know what hey, I mean? Man, that's I that's that's you saying, if you're going to say that, then I'm going to say, hell no, 78 can't vote. <laughs> we know where 78 okay, is going. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. This being recorded, right? Let's Let's say. We'll we'll leave it at them two, and then let the people in the comment section vote based on the arguments that me and Beats presented, and the argument that you two guys presented. Now I liked it, Vladimir, but 
Beats never said Langford like he was going to originally. He never said it. But once he put him into play, then I can't put I can't put Vladimir in there. Man. Yeah, let the people decide, man. Okay, so uh, okay. so the, they the ten spot taking him out and Jack Johnson. The ten spot, um, uh, y'all want to keep open for the people in the comment section to debate. Yeah, yeah, why not? But, but can we have one last vote on Fraser for Marciano then, and that's it? It's not gonna happen, no, Lee. No, Forget no, about no, it. I'll it's leave not gonna happen. Win, man. I'll leave him in. I'll leave yeah. Marciano no. in. Yeah, we want yeah. that Fraser in there, boy. Fraser <laughs> is not getting in over Marciano. You, you already know that. They, they already yeah. been clear. So. All right, so that's are we, is that are we done with our business or we got some more debates? No, nah, man, that, I'm gonna wrap up, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna come yeah, up and yeah. wrap for the wrap for the evening, fellas. Cause I've been out all day. So yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so 78 Sports TV in the panel, we got UK boxing blogger, boxing beats and rhymes, boxologist, Zone Six boxing, and we are out. We'll holler. Peace.